European killer Dropping heat like we should Up and coming like morning wood and something good Kicking the real to those that wanna rock with us No slowing down and it ain't no stopping us We have been rocking over two years long The best podcast, best intro song Forget the facts, opinions we got those Here we make them run loose like a snot nose It's bootleg, ain't nothing fake about it either So sit back and watch, go grab a slice of pizza But we prefer the subs, so hit the red button And you'll be notified when we said something Hit the thumbs up Share it with your folks Make sure to leave a comment Give your thoughts on our quotes This ain't for the Ralph Trez Van crowd You offended, wanna exit? Then you can now It's Bootleg Cable Podcast It's Bootleg Cable Podcast What it is, good people It's another week in the bag And this is Bootleg Cable Podcast I'm one half of the squad P-Double Yeah, yeah, do it on the left It's your boy Killer Cow And this episode number 123 What's happening, Killer? Yeah, brother, I'm here How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. How was your week, man? Interesting? Uh, it was good. It was good. Uh, I, I don't know if interesting, but you know, it, it was good. It was a good week. Okay. It kind of okay. went by in the blur, man. You know, we, we like I've been saying for a while, man, we kind of old now, nigga, yeah, or whatever man. you want to call it. Yeah, you picking um, up a lot of grades, man. So You yeah. see me? Yeah, I see you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I see you, bro. <laughs> I was about to say, bro, brush your chin, brush your chin. Take the lot of lint, but that ain't lint, man. Pick up some grades. Yeah, man. Them shit, yo, I swear, every every shave, I, I'll probably pick up like five more, bro. I don't okay. know what's going on. All right, I was, man. I you, was, probably, you probably look dope with the all white out, though. Hey, man. I, look like to, dude on um, fucking uh, basketball wives or some shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> Is it basketball wives? Uh, whatever. Or, what, Atlanta. 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 Of Atlanta, yeah. Yeah, 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 man. I've been, yeah. yo, I've been, I've been. Kind of like, yo, man, they just need to come. If they're they, yeah, they going to come in, just come full yeah, force. Don't hit Santa me Claus the, out on this motherfucker. Yeah, man. don't hit me with the patches and the yeah. this and the that. Like, nigga, the other day I was fucking blowing my nose. Nigga looked up in the mirror. I was like, fuck, got gray hairs in my nose, Oh, bro. shit. There you go, man. <laughs> Them shits is everywhere, bro. For, for the time. Bleaching you out, nigga. Right? <laughs> they say, fuck that. We coming for that ass, nigga. <laughs> we right. going to make you look old at all costs, bro. <laughs> That's so, so um, yo, this week... um. Uh, I was sitting down with my daughter, man, and mm. um, we ended up watching The Matrix, bro. Okay, which one? First one? Matrix Reloaded? The first one. The first one. one. Okay. First one. So um, mm. she ended up watching uh, this uh, part two by herself, but mm. we watched the first one, dude. And before it came on, I used the words, I probably didn't mean it, or I might have meant it. I used the words, one of the best action movies of all time. Okay. Would you agree or disagree with that statement? Yeah, it, it definitely was a landmark in um, action film. It definitely changed the game as far as uh, photography, fil- filmography goes, and yeah. you know, just the way they captured some of the footage yeah. in that movie was dope. Epic. Yeah, yeah. So um, I was telling her about it, and she was like, "Really? Like this movie? You know, like kind of like she never really heard of it or whatever." And she was mm-hmm. watching it, and then um, I don't know if you remember the movie uh, from front to back. I probably didn't seen the shit like twenty times or whatever, but. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like certain scenes in the movie where you just like you remember that shit. Did you see it in the, in the, in the theaters? Uh, not not the first one, but I saw everyone after that. Okay, in the theaters, yeah. So I th- I saw the first one in the theater, and I I believe I was in Jersey when I had saw it. Uh, mm-hmm. I was either on vacation, whatever, whatever, something. But um, I went and saw it in the, when I was in Jersey, man. And like when I watched it, it was I just remember like wow, yo, they could do this for real in a yeah. movie. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like. The the, the 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 HD slow motion animation yeah. was just fucking ridiculous, bro. Yeah. And like I'm watching I'm watching a movie and you know you you watch a movie that you've seen before and you kinda look to somebody to yeah. see if they got that reaction yeah. that you that you had when you first right. saw it. Yeah, same way you listen to a song. You like, yeah, 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 like yo, yeah. Let's see if we're gonna catch that part yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, let me right. see if this nigga gonna right. make the lemon face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so I'm watching the movie and like, you know, certain parts, especially the part when the agent was dodging the bullets. And then when Neo started dodging the bullets, I'm looking at her and she's just kind of looking at it like, mm. okay, all right, yeah. 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 And I was just like, well, we know what that is, though. That's because f- for us, there wasn't nothing like that before. But mm-hmm. f- since then, they've seen everything like that. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And, and and it started when, when I, it started making me think about it. And I was just like, yo, they got effects like these on my cell phone right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could do it on your celly right now, right? Yeah. 
Like, yeah, that's yeah, like, cr- your, like your everyday show. They put that in a sitcom right now. It's like, yeah, like that's crazy yeah. to yeah. even think about it, bro. Like yeah, this movie came out 1999. Yeah. And this was like next level shit we talking about. Right. Like, yeah, you done seen slow motion explosions. Yeah. But that, like the, that just the, movie, the, but the, the multiple camera angles they were using to make the, 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 the thing rotate. See yeah. behind the scenes of how they, they accomplished that. It was dope. And um, yeah, that was that was like the first introduction to that but like you said man nowadays that's in a music video now that's like yeah yeah and yeah. i was just i was just thinking to myself like yo i'm 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 expecting her to kind of appreciate the movie and how dope it is and that but then i, I like mm. as i as i was going through it i realized that i had to explain it to her i was like listen i said when this movie came out i said there was nothing like this yeah. ever in any movie right you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. the effects that you seen here was like groundbreaking. Yeah, yeah. For like pushing the envelope. For, yeah, for like that. even when the fucking helicopter crashed into the building. Yeah, oh yeah, and then the ripples and all that. Yeah, now, you know what I'm saying? Like getting that nowhere else. I was, I was just like, yo, like, yo, this, like, you, like, you're not understanding how dope this movie is right yeah. now. Even, even in part two, I think it was part two when they, um, mm-hmm. when they had a open was a whole bunch of Asian Smiths in part two. Yeah, or was that part or, three? The motorcycle scene. When they racing through this, street. yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. I was just like, yo, like, why? Like in my mind, initially, I was thinking, like, why are you not understanding how dope this is right now? Yeah, nah. But then, like I said, I realized that yo, she, she could pull out her fucking iPhone, dude, yeah, and, and, and create the same, fa- <laughs> create the same effects, right, on right. her fucking phone mm-hmm. as we seen in a music. You know what I'm saying? You went in a, a fucking movie theater, you looking at this shit like yo, amazed, man. Yeah, man, that's that that's old age, man. Yeah. Like, it comes with that. Man. So I'm just like, well, it's not but, even that. I mean, like, yeah, I mean, that's 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 just dope for us because. Um, we got to witness things, and like I was saying to you, man, mm-hmm. it, it's 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 hard nowadays to be wild by things. And I'm looking, I'm searching, I'm urge, I'm yearning to to be wild mm-hmm. once again by f- you know what I'm saying film or music or anything like of that nature of that stature. It's like it's hard nowadays to find that that wow factor. Yeah. And um, uh, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, these kids are living in a world where you know phone technology and everything is at their fingertips, but they, I, th- I feel like it is take it for granted. It's just a part of life. It's just a common thing for them. They don't understand like there was a time without this. Like you had and, to work towards this. Right, like, right, right. <laughs> like other shit existed that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. now you could have this shit on your fucking phone. You yeah, know what I'm right, saying? Exactly. So. Touch screens and all that shit. Mm-hmm. Like sometimes I talk to them and I'm like, yo, I remember when I was in high school. I hate that. I remember when I was in high school, mm-hmm. but you know what I'm saying? It was like crazy to see a nigga with the fucking. Uh, Full color next tail shit. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, mm. yeah, I had to flip. I had the green screen shit going on or whatever. But somebody had that full color. You was like, oh, oh shit, shit. that's taking, crazy, bro. You taking could... pictures? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah. now the cheapest of the cheapest phones got cameras on there. Yeah, and, right, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Oh man, yeah, so like, old ass niggas, right? It, it, it did. It did. It did make me feel old, man. Reminisce. It did make me feel old, so I, like I said, I was, I was just kind of wild by that initially. Mm-hmm. I was just like, "Yo, damn!" Like she ain't really understanding what's going on here. But I, you know, I had to. Do but, a she, but she said check. she sat down and watched the second second movie though. So she yeah, 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 yeah. She enjoyed story, it. The storyline was enough to captivate her. And um, yeah, I, what I did was also they they have like um, like little cartoons and shit that go with it that kind of like um pushes the storyline forward a little bit more. Mm-hmm. So that uh, you know what I'm saying I I purchased those back in the day and um just understanding the whole storyline of the Matrix that actually makes it doper than just the, the graphics itself. And you know what I mean that's what I love from movies that that are that are good. It's like not only you're getting hit with the dope visuals but you know the storyline really um is what really drives it and creates that impact. So definitely, man. it definitely had a dope storyline to it. For sure, for sure. But <clears throat> shit, keeping with the movie, still theme. wondering if we're in the Matrix right now. I don't know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> keeping keeping with the movie theme, man. Why did why they drop Kick the Terminator like that, bro? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that wasn't even a drop kick, right? <laughs> nigga if it. you drop, then you, you, how you consider it a drop kick, man? That's, that's crazy. Dude, what, like Terminator over here trying to take 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 a yeah. uh, uh, video of uh, home girl, home girl jump roping, jump or whatever. roping, and she was fucking up in the middle of the jump yeah. rope. Yeah, <laughs> he's trying to just get a quick shot. Dude, look how fast this is. <laughs> <laughs> look at how <her. laughs> I'm just trying to get some footages so that you know I'm out here in Africa. You know. The bridge is out. (laughs) (laughs) 
The next thing you know, dude yeah. come from the back. Yeah. Why nigga, I- nigga it look like you kicked the wall, man. Right? Like, yeah, man. <laughs> Terminator out, turned around like, yo. And shout out that? to that second camera angle though, because first when I seen it, I was like, oh, you know, took this Terminator out. Yeah, 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 yeah. T two T T one thousand is done for, nigga. <laughs> right. And then you saw the second angle. It was like, oh man, he, <laughs> he just, just ate that. He just ate that, man. He shook it off. Yo, what was funny was how the bodyguard kind of really wanted to pound dude's head in, but he was like, oh, yeah, shit, I can't do that here. <laughs> but but I he did, really looked like he was well, fuck him up though. Did they show? Did they show? The, is there any other angle of anything that happened after that though? Uh, after they dragged dude out and yeah. dude talking about I want a Lamborghini. Yeah. Uh nah, they ain't show anything after that. Or because I heard him. Sh- I heard he say he was screaming or some shit like "Help me, help me." Or yeah, some he shit was like, like "Help me, I want a Lamborghini." Oh, I thought, I That's thought what it was, he was saying. Help I, me, I want a Lamborghini too. I want a Lamborghini. I'm like, what made you think drop kicking the Terminator was gonna I, get you a Lamborghini? I thought it, I thought it was like help me niggas is beating my ass type yeah. shit. Isn't is it not warranted? Oh, of course. Yeah, I mean, this ain't I just no, wanted to see it. I just wanted to oh, see it go down. See it, yeah. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Nah. This ain't no like oh, black white on black crime oh, nah. shit, nigga. nigga beat his ass. ass. Beat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> beat that nigga. Yeah, ass. Nigga talking about this is my ship now, Captain. No, nigga. <laughs> For real. No, it's not. <laughs> beat that ass. Fuck you, Motumbo. <laughs> fuck you doing, man? Why would you think a drop kick was gonna solve your issues, the, man? The, the, the puns, boy, that people come up with off of that shit. Yeah, man. I ain't hear any. You got any? Uh, well, one of them would, would after he, what happened? They said, um, <laughs> hey, "Are you coming back to Africa again?" I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> that was one of them. Um, uh, you know how that, what, what movie that was? Was get to the chopper? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> was get that was chopper? Was that Predator that he said that? I don't. I don't think. Or was Commando. It? Probably was Commando. I think Predator. He said something else. Uh, it, prob- it probably was. It probably was Commando. I'm Come on, <laughs> do it, do it, do it now, <laughs> do it. Get, get to the chopper. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man. So they, they like I was reading through some. I, I can't think of them right now off yeah. the top of my head, dude. But the I'll be back shit was fucking. That was hilarious, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was. That was. So uh, yeah, man. Hey, man. Shout yeah, out well, to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, I'm glad he's good, man. Tall, bro, seventy one years old, still eating kicks like that. You know, right? Yeah, that's dope, man. <laughs> Boy, look back like <laughs> who the fuck blew air on me, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, you want to get us some hip hop shit, bro? Let's do it, man. We got oh, yeah, to get, stay in touch with our roots, man. Hip hop roots. You know what I mean? All right. So, uh, Lord Jamar made the news this week, mm. and um, people who don't know Lord Jamar is he's a frequent guest on Vlad TV. Mm-hmm. Um, he's also an accomplished actor now. Um, mm. he been in he been in quite a few shows. Mm. Um, he was in uh, that miniseries on HBO. Oz. Uh. He was in Oz. He was in Oz. He was also yeah, Law and Order. He made a couple appearances. Yeah, and um, and, uh, the last one, dude, with the the the, the character named Nas. Uh, oh, 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 uh, the night, yeah, yeah, the night, the night after, of, night, of, of, the night yeah, yeah, yeah. of, the night of. He was in yeah. that movie. Uh, yeah, man, that, you know, show, you know, so. he also has a podcast. Does he? Yeah, he has a podcast. What, what do you think the name of that podcast is? Uh, well, you ain't gonna guess it. Nah, I'm not gonna guess it. He has a podcast with Rod Digger. Um, is his co-host? I think I podcast. did see it. And the name of the podcast is Yada Da Mean. Yada Da Mean. Oh, Yada Da Mean podcast, and they don't just call it a podcast. Hmm. It's called the Godcast. Okay, you know what I'm saying? All right. Well, yeah, that yeah. I mean, no disrespect to Jamal, but that nigga did sound like he stuck in the time capsule with that. He, he do. Yeah, that I mean. Yeah, that I mean. Oh man, yo, you know what be fly? <laughs> you know what be fly? We call this shit. Yeah, yeah that, that I mean. mean. Yeah, I mean, I mean. Oh man. Yeah. So yeah, which um, Vlad is a recurring guest on his his podcast as well. So I, I checked out a episode. I saw Vlad that. for the first time like maybe a couple of weeks ago. I never yeah. knew what he looked like. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, "Yo, that's Vlad." Okay. <laughs> but um, yeah. So Lord Jamar made the news recently for saying Eminem was whack, and mm. pretty much said "fuck Eminem." Yeah. So a combination of the two, "fuck Eminem," mm. and Eminem is whack. And um, he's always had this uh, stance for quite some time now, and I feel like every time he's on Vlad, or every other time he's on Vlad, 
Vlad find some reason to bring it up to make him say that shit. Yeah. But um, well, I this guess this particular time he wasn't on Vlad though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This particular time he was on another mm-hmm. podcast or sit down or whatever it's called, Rapmatic. Mm-hmm. Um, was a show called Battle Code. Yeah. And um, he was talking about the different things. He was talking about Eminem. He was also talking about Lil Nas X or whatever, whatever. But um, let's stick to the Eminem shit that he was talking about. Okay. I think uh, pretty much every point that he made. About Eminem You've made Me? And I've made Yeah You know what I'm saying mm-hmm. But He just said it A lot more harshly Than people would like Okay Do we appreciate that? Because For the most part I, I, I agree with him I agree with him 100% What mm. he was saying You know what I'm saying Okay But Like Is it is it how he said it That's pissing people off Or is it Now that Uh why? A certain a certain mm. group of people is is caught wind of what he said. Um, I'm not. I'm. I've said things along the lines of what he said. However, I don't agree with him. I do not agree that Eminem is whack at all. Mm-hmm. I've never. I don't. I don't. I don't think I've ever um, said those sentiments or said anything to that aspect that he's actually whack and he doesn't belong in hip hop or. He didn't necessarily say that, though. Nah, but I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I I, I feel like, damn, he might as well have said that. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. He's like, yo, Eminem is whack. He does not deserve any of the accolades that he's gotten, and he's he's a trash rapper. Like, you know what I'm saying? He, he just rhymes words, and he says things about his mom and things of that, that nature, and it doesn't resonate with the black community. Yeah. And him as a, you know what I'm saying, a true hip-hop man, you know what I'm saying? He's... In all the five elements Graffiti Breakdancing yeah. Rapping All the elements You know what I mean Like he feels like As though Eminem doesn't Live up to those Those standards And he's He's a he's a whack rapper I mm-hmm. don't agree with that Okay I disagree with that And I I would venture to say That I feel like Large Jamal himself Disagrees with that too Because um, Even in that little interview Or that um, Excerpt right there mm-hmm. He would He was quoting lyrics That Was from Eminem songs That's not singles Yes. It's yes, like yes, yes. To know that <clears throat> is to know you have to have to listen to Eminem, mm-hmm. and it wasn't just you didn't listen to it one time. Mm-hmm. So it sounds like he has digested the album, sat with it, and at some point or another, just like I, I well, not just like let me just say, at some point or another, when you see Eminem getting all the um the praises that he's getting from um from everybody and everything, and then the minute he's called the best rapper. That's when it triggers something. You're like, oh, wait, 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 wait. I was all for bigging them up. Yeah. I was all the way there with y'all. But the best? The best? Whoa. Now you're forced in a position where you got to start taking back some of the, the love you might have shown somebody. You feel me? Okay. Some, now you got to tear them down a little bit to make, you know what I'm saying, to, to try to prove your point. And I think that's where Lord Jamal is right okay. now. Okay. Where he has, he's forced to try to tear down Eminem. But I, don't, I, I feel like he. He at some point was an Eminem fan and is still an Eminem fan. Truly, I feel that way. But he just, uh, like you said, he just he he's held this position for so long. Yeah. It's like he got to keep you got to keep up with it. Yeah, you got to keep up with it. Right. Um, like I, like I said, I agree with a lot of the points that he made. Like one of the points that he made uh, was, if you going on a car ride, you're not putting Eminem on in the car ride. You know what I'm saying? If I'm driving from here to Orlando, not if, true. If if, if not well, not true if, for me, but well, if, yeah, go ahead, speak if, for yourself. Yeah. Okay, so let's just say me and you take it a road trip. We say, yo, man, let's 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 go to fucking theme park and chill for a day, mm-hmm. whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? Whatever. Nigga, you putting on is, is Eminem in your playlist to put on in the car? It, that's 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 not how I play first of all, playlist you just kinda um let what's going on what's on your catalog rock. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah, there's Eminem on my catalog. It's Eminem on my, my catalog too. So how is Eminem not coming up and how how what why wouldn't I leave it there? Like, why not let it rock when I'm familiar with him and you're familiar with him? What I'm saying is like is that something that you I I, I think well, what you're you trying was, to create the vibe? Like yeah, like, yeah, like are you cho- are you choosing that? Are you choosing that? Like, yo, man, we're gonna rock out to some dope shit. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, this is what I'm rocking to, Eminem. Am, Shit, I, am I putting man, Eminem yeah, on? Man, I am who I say I am. There's a couple couple joints on there. There's a couple song Eminem songs. Stand. There's a couple songs that of Eminem that you're gonna fuck with, man. I mm-hmm. fuck with. I fuck with. No, I, I'm saying I, and that I frequently with, comes up on my playlist. I fuck and with that's, those that's songs Eminem too. then, not Eminem now. I'm not really 
the M fan now, but yeah. I was a, I'm definitely a big fan of Eminem then. You know? and, and, I, and, I, and I'm not going to sit here in front that I'm not either because – uh, if I'm if I'm thinking correctly, I bought every single album from the first one up mm-hmm. until Encore. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I ain't gonna sit here in front like, yo, yeah. this nigga's whack and da 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 da. This mm-hmm. that and the third. But I get what I, I get what he was trying to say. I, I think he just said it wrong. You know what I'm saying? I don't Again, think there's no other way to say it, man. There's no there, you can't say that wrong. He said I think what he, he said wanted it, to say. I, I think he said it harshly. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he, he cut the interview off for several times, and he yeah. Was, you know what I'm saying? He was being aggressive with his tone and, you know, mm-hmm. and he was trying to paint paint a picture of Eminem being whack. But at the same time, like, come on, man. Like, not every brand new being song or every brand new being album is hitting like that. Nah. You know what I mean? I, on, and, and to be honest with you, <laughs> I'm not putting brand new being in my, in my playlist <laughs> if I'm taking a road trip either. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, yeah, a couple brand new being joint might come on, but, you know. Don't let it go to your head. Yeah, That's about yeah. it. You know what I'm saying, yeah. but I'll, I'll put some Grand Pooba on. Yeah, some Grand Pooba. Yeah, true. <laughs> what goes around comes back around again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Start doogie, all you with me? <laughs> like, yeah, I'll put that on. But Grand Nubian as a whole, whack ass to that X. That yeah, nigga so is whack. Oh uh, yeah, man. So that, that voice. What the fuck? <laughs> Talk about people with bad voices. Yeah. And that was one of the points that he made too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like Your I man, said, you was rapping with somebody that had the worst <laughs> voice in hip hop. Yeah, man. For real, for real. real. So yeah. I mean, like I said, man, I I agree with some of his points. I agree with what he was saying. Not not totally. And and again, I think through conversation, even on this podcast, me and you made pretty much some of the same points that he made. Pretty much any I, any I, any time we talked about Eminem, I'm gonna keep, yeah. but we but we just wasn't on it. Like yo, this nigga's trash, yeah. and he don't deserve the accolades. Whatever, whatever. I think that. Again, I think that Eminem is one of the best dudes at rhyming words together, just like George, like Lord Jamar said. Mm-hmm. But it's the content what he was talking about that really where he gets lost. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Especially the earlier days with the pill popping and the extreme shit and the mom shit and the daughter shit and the whatever, whatever. Yeah, like, but I, as a fan, I heard all that shit and I just I just laughed it off. I never said like I identify with it. Mm-hmm. I just thought he delivered it in a humorous, mm-hmm. from a humorous pr- perspective, mm-hmm. and he in, he interjected in the song at the right portions. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, just having a song like you know what I'm saying? Like, I never meant to give you my shoes, girl. And it, that story was dope. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Eminem, he's able to do those things. He's dope. I don't like. I said that's M then, not M now. Gotcha. And I think like I have to. Be open and be honest about where my disdain came from, and it wasn't necessarily Eminem. Like, right? Granted, the, it's the, the fans of Eminem. The fans of Eminem. <laughs> That's <laughs> the stands of the Eminem. stands of Eminem. Yeah, and yeah. what they're holding on to, and I, and what they're bigging them up for, they have to realize that it's only because you know him. You haven't. You never gave anybody else a chance. You never gave hip hop a chance. Yeah. So you cannot put him on that pedestal, or or we cannot accept him being on that pedestal because you have not acknowledged anything else. Gotcha. And the stands of the stands of Eminem is what annoys the shit out of me. Mm. And yeah, so yeah, that and again that forces you to find things of Eminem that you know. Yeah, it's like uh, like yeah. it, it it becomes your. Your defense of others in hip hop before yeah. and even after him yeah. causes you to hate on what he did, so to say, exactly. or kind of tear down what the the love that you have because somebody else is holding them a little too high. Exactly. <laughs> so, exactly. So it just make it look like, yeah. yo, why is Killer hating? Why P yeah. Dub over here hating on it's Eminem? Like, like nah. nah, nigga, we ain't hating on him. We're giving him his props. Yeah. But you giving him way, way too much. Too much. <laughs> exactly, bro. Way too much, man. Yeah, yeah. I got you, man. Yeah, man. Hey, man, is it free my dog JT from the City Girls? Free, free my dog? Nah, let JT do a time. <laughs> So so yeah. so JT from the City Girls man, man I got hey listen man I went to the, I, I I looked in my bank account one time 
It was like 400 out one day. Next day it was five. Mm. Next day it was three. Mm. Next day it was four again. I'm niggas like, yo. Niggas getting you. Niggas, who the hell scamming the shit out of me, <laughs> man? They keep JT in jail. Fuck this bullshit. <laughs> That's what she she might have put the fucking um, card reader on my shit. I don't fucking know. <laughs> That's what she was doing, right? The scamming the ass, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. Hey, listen, oh shit! Man. Yeah, I, man. So, I, so, so, JT trying to get out of jail early, yeah. man. What she? How long she been locked up now? For about like, nine, ten, nine, ten months. Uh, I think it's about about a year now. But they trying to give, they trying to find a way to give her credit for, um, yeah, for time served or yeah. they, you know, they, be good behavior. Or whatever. Yeah, and they trying to say that she a celebrity now, mm-hmm. and you know what I'm saying she could, uh, you know, yeah, impact man. her community in certain ways and blah blah blah. This, that, and the third. So. Of course, man. The, the iron is hot, man. You know that the, they did a phenomenal job with their album. Mm-hmm. It was well received. These singles are out here, and the the, the, the momentum slowing down. Listen, so I, they need new content, and <laughs> you can't have content with just one, one with just one, with, with yeah. just one city girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I see a lot of performances where it's just like, yo, city girls. Yeah, and I'm like, you mean Young Miami? Yeah, <laughs> Miami. <laughs> <laughs> How you feel about how she talk when yeah. you rapping? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't pay that much attention to it. I don't pay that much attention to it, man. I think the way she mumble when she rapping, mm. dude, is funny. It's like it's something annoying and it's something cute about it at yeah, the same yeah, time. Yeah. Yeah, but um, I said it before, dude, and I said it uh, when I when I first heard the the first album. Period. Mm. I think that album has some of the best production. Mm-hmm. Of that year with that Yeah came man out. Yeah Somebody knew What it was doing With that man Somebody had some foresight I just gotta wonder Where are these people When all these projects Are coming out man Cause all that That dopeness Went into Fucking city girls And that's not a knock At them But I'm just like Yo Why is that Afforded to anybody else Dude If y'all If y'all Y'all yeah. ain't heard it Go go and check out the the City Girls album. Period, and don't even. Mm. I mean, you have no choice but to listen to the words, but just listen to the production mm-hmm. on that album, dude. And yeah, man, the, the sample beats is clearance. banging. Yo, I want to set fire one with some circle, you know. No, that, that song ain't on that. That's not on there. No, that's on their second oh, album. Shit. That's on their second album. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. the first one is like oh, okay. gutter. Mm. Hood ass scamming ass. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck these niggas ass. Mm. All kind of crazy shit. Like yeah. yo. They they the, the production on that shit is fucking hard, man. Mm. So shout outs to whoever produced that project. Mm. We don't get booklets and credits and shit no more to yeah. see who produced anything nowadays true, true, unless true. you got a tag on there. Mm. If young Metro don't trust you, I'ma shoot you. <laughs> um so shout shout outs to whoever did the production, man. And, yeah, for um, sure, man. Hey man, free my dog JT, man. Yeah, well, yeah, we don't want to see nobody <laughs> locked up, really. Free my dog JT. Yeah, um XXX Tentacion's baby mama. Mm-hmm. Is um, petitioning for uh, DNA uh, to confirm that the child is his. Okay. And mm-hmm. a, an XX Tetachian's mama, mama's mama, mm-hmm. is trying to um, block the baby mama's mama. Yeah. From getting that DNA. So, um, so if you, if you, let's, 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 let me speak from the baby mama's perspective, and you speak from the mama's perspective on this one. Oh man! All right, I'll try. Okay, I'll, I'll, try, I'll try to uh, <laughs> so, be contrarian. And- so, so I'm 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 the baby mama, and I'm trying to, mm. you know, get the blood or whatever, whatever, to mm. prove that, yeah. um, you know, this child is X's child. Okay, what's going through your mind as I try to do this? Um, I ain't never heard of you. Where you <clears> come from? But mm-hmm. you did heard of me because. Mm-hmm. Uh, you came out and she did the whole, the the, the mama did the whole uh, posting of the mm. ultrasound after he had died, oh. and said, "Oh, he he left one last gift for y'all." Oh, so why? Okay, now I can't believe the mama, man. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't know all that. No, I'm stuck, so, man. Yeah, so why? So, okay, I'm sorry, child, for hating. Why the fuck am I hating so damn hard? So the reason why you hating is because. You living off of your son's money. Mm. You living off of whatever. Now you got to share it. Now you got to share it because obviously the son is going to be, mm. you know, heir to mm. the throne, so to say, or oh, okay, heir okay, to okay. whatever, you know what I'm saying? Whatever his estate has, it should come but, the son's way. I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, look, I, I could block, but it can't. I mean, I'm sure the court's going to, it's going to get put, give that young lady, um, 
whatever she's looking for. They did. Know? So I mean, like, yeah, my my mission is to block. Yeah, I'm starting to deny, and um, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm gonna make it hard for you. And why not? So okay, I mean, so like, so at the end of the day, you get it, you get it. But I'm trying. I'm trying, first of all, I want to see if you for real. So I'm gonna try, try bluff you. I'm trying to. I'm trying to scare you away from this. So if that didn't deter you, then cool. Let's go through. At the end of the day, um, are we both gold diggers? Uh, I no. I why well, I'm just protecting my interests. My interests. I care about me. I don't and know. I'm protecting my interests too. I okay. care about my my child in this situation. Right. But in this situation, I didn't lay down with you and make that baby. Mm-hmm. So now it's on you to do your due diligence. And figure that shit out You're not mm. getting No corporations from me mm. Cause what's to say who, who The next young Thotty Hottie Gonna come at me And say that too right? So you know so, saying? But but that's That's my baby father though mm-hmm. <laughs> You know what I'm saying uh, Like According to who Will? <laughs> According <laughs> to this DNA That I'm about to get tested Alright then cool <laughs> you, you get that paperwork You hit up Maury They say it's yours And, and he ain't around He ain't around yeah. To take care of young Young mm. whoever it is So yeah. uh, You know all right, once that child is born, then yeah, I'm saying whatever funds that need to be allocated to that towards that child, then cool. So you think the moms is do- is gonna do that though? Is she, is she gonna willingly give up? Mm-hmm. Because let's, let's think about it in this in the sense of child support, right? Okay. So he's not alive anymore, mm-hmm. and oh, but that's his, that's that that's yeah. I mean, sad that he passed away, but that is a fucking funny ass twist of faith, huh? Yeah. Now the mama got to pay child support. His estate got to pay child yeah. support. Yeah. So I guess at this point, maybe the mom is in charge of the charge of his estate. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, who gonna pay this child support? Mm-hmm. Because let's be real, she if she wasn't with dude when he was alive, what's she gonna do? She gonna try to get that child support, right? Yeah, absolutely. So. What what changes because now that he passed away? Like, all right, you know what I'm saying? He was this big rap star, or on his way to being a big rap star, or whatever. Yeah. So she she gonna try to get it however she live. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I'm I don't I don't blame neither parties in this. Mm. With you. I feel like the mom should do what she feels necessary. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and block that. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? Young thotty hottie. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know what they out here trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Oh uh, so, shit! Uh, any other? And thing? I'm not just gonna turn over and like, oh, here you go, here you go, sample. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I want this shit should be legal in court. Blah blah blah, da da da. So that there's no confusion. So yeah, nobody comes behind you and try to pull this bullshit. You know what I'm mm, saying? True, yeah. true. But hey, man, you look, you put them pictures side by side. <laughs> you, you are the father. Oh yeah. <laughs> Both of them got the same bags underneath their eyes. <laughs> you, man, all babies got bags. <laughs> nah, bags. son. Nah, it's mm. different, bro. Oh, okay, <laughs> it's different. <laughs> Hey, oh man. shit! Uh, any other hip hop shit to talk about right now? Hip hop? No, I mean Khaled. You know what I'm saying? We kind of spoke with that, uh, spoke about that off camera. But how you feel about the Khaled project? Oh uh, man, uh, there's a couple of joints. There's like five songs on there I could make my own playlist out of, mm. and rock with that for the rest of the summer. I feel. Yeah. Um, is it gonna carry over beyond the summer? No, I don't think so. Maybe just the um, just us by SZA. Mm-hmm. Um, I fucks with that one. Fuck, yeah. I fuck with the one with Meek Mill and um, Jeremiah mm-hmm. with the um, the old Spanish sample at the beginning. You know, what I'm saying <coughs> you stay, you stay. That joint. Yeah. And um, Nipsey and um, uh, Nipsey, the Nipsey joint. Mm-hmm. And um, not so much the Nas, maybe more so the uh, Rick Rocks and Jeezy record. Although I just felt like that that song needed a little bit more. It was just kind of like two verses, and it was a rap. But yeah. I feel like it needed more of a body. Like I said, yeah. like I said to you off camera, man. Um, I think I think DJ Khaled is trying to play mad scientist and mm-hmm. come up with these formulas or whatever, and you know, trying to put all these people together. And I I just don't think that uh, good music comes out of it majority of the times. Yeah. And and it, it like I said, it could be me just being a hater and and hating on DJ Khaled even yeah I, before. I hear a lot of people hating and I I'm, I mean I am a Khaled hater too and to a certain point mm-hmm. but I gotta look at the reason why I'm, why I'm hating I'm hating that he's he does a, such a such a good job branding like uh, right now you know the name of his child. Assad. Yeah. yeah, we all know Assad. Yeah, Assad. As long as you know, what I'm saying Khaled stay doing what he's doing. Aside, future is certified in here. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. And right now, aside, aside, don't give a shit about nothing but Legos. True. But, you know what I'm saying. He's co-producing albums. I guess. <laughs> so, yeah. so mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, he does. A, he does a good job with his annoying ass voice, just getting in your head and just like you know saying these things repeatedly over and over and over, 
and that just became became his brand. And um, a lot of people want to call him culture vulture, whatever, whatever. But he's put in the work to get to <coughs> get to where he's at. I wouldn't and, go that far and call and him a culture affi- vulture. His affi- affiliations pay off for him, you know. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go right that now. Far. I just w- was watching the beginning of the, the game, and um, I already heard just the um, just us playing in at the intro, and he's like, "Oh yeah, Warriors, Blazers, the Blazers got to You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I. How you get in them places? How you get in them rooms to go ahead and do those things? You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, when we talk about work ethic and you know what I'm saying, yo, yeah. to, for him to get where he's at, props to him. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in that sense, I'm not hating on him. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That Khaled definitely put in the work. Remember, mm-hmm. both of us from down here, Fort Lauderdale, Miami area. Yeah. Um, we heard this dude on the radio for years, mm-hmm. grinding on the radio. L- l- listen, mm-hmm. l- 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 like you know what I'm saying? Every yeah. whatever. Five o'clock shut down mix or whatever mix that he was on on ninety nine yeah. jams or whatever. Like yo, Khaled definitely put the work in. Yeah, absolutely. and and I seen it from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Production on Terror Squad album. You know what I'm saying? I always liked his production and stuff like that. Like I give him his props as a producer. And when I say a producer, I'm talking about actually making beats and stuff like that. He he definitely used to do that. I don't know if he still do that now on his projects, mm-hmm. but I think just. He's always been annoying, dude. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. always been super duper annoying, and I never understood how people liked his annoyance. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I, I I guess it's one of those things where you 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 hate it so much until you love it. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like like like, like if they play a song, fucking you know, yeah, little yeah. Nas X on the you, radio, you mock it so much, then it, it just becomes what you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. um, it like I'm when I say I hate on DJ Khaled, it's 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 I just don't I, I don't like how he put together his projects. Like I was talking to you before. I don't yeah. like compilation projects in general. Mm-hmm. It, it 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 gotta be some kind of organic way that they're they're constructed. And I don't think that there's an organic way with this. I think it's like especially in this day and age, this is like, yo, killer. Mm-hmm. Uh I got this song and uh Fabulous gonna be on there and such and such gonna be on there. Here go the beat, uh send me the verse. I might tell you, hey, this is what the song is about, or I might just say, yo, send me a verse, and they just kind of put shit together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, yeah. I think a lot of these songs, if you look at the videos, the videos are shot in three different places. It's like what seven videos already. Yeah. He yeah. put out for the for projects on this song yeah. on his album. Yeah. And the videos are shot in different places. People, you know, everybody got their own little thing going on. It's just, it's just. Cut and paste music, bro, and that's 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 I my mean, issue with it. Yeah, I mean, I I see your issue, but we also have um, have to acknowledge that these are the times, and you know, with contracts and you know clearances mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. you know splits on, on records and things like that, that people are more knowledgeable about the in these times and everything like that. Label issues, it's 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 kind of hard to get back to the era where you could just be like, yo yo, slide through, man. I got this. I got this slot. I, I see the slot for you on this this song right here, or mm-hmm. I need you on this hook right here, or you know what I'm saying. Let's or let's all get in the studio and you know what I'm saying come up come up with this vibe. It's hard to get that man. So I mean, like, I I feel like a lot of the songs on there. It's yeah, it's not stuff stuff that's gonna stick to your ribs, but you know, for a good summer bounce, man, just to get through the summer, you know what I'm saying? A, good, a couple good, feel good songs. Yeah, it, it, it got the generic mark on it. It got the generic stamp with the jealous um. Song with Chris Brown and Lil Wayne, yeah, and uh, Big Sean. That's it's mad typical. We heard it before, but we're gonna fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, there's a cut, the Bougie Bonton song on there. It's like, yeah, we. It, I would have hoped, and I seen you t- uh, put something maybe on Facebook or tweeted it out. Was like, yo, Bougie Bonton ain't made one good song since he came out. He, he made one good song, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he, he been pretty whack since he yeah, came out of prison. Pretty whack since he came out of prison and. I mean, like, but you know, Cali ran down there, bro. He ran down there and linked up with the dude, man. Oh yeah, so, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, I guess he does have a sense of what's popping and strike with a high is hot type type mentality. Yeah. But like you said, man, it might be too cookie cutter for you mm-hmm. as a hip hop fan. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I feel like it's digestible enough to mm. to rock with, man. Okay. Hey, man. Like I said, man. I'm, I, I could hate and, and I could appreciate what he does mm-hmm. and I could also uh, root for his success so you know what I mean I'm not a fan of his but I hope ah. that I hope that the project is successful man I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm gonna listen to it 
I'm gonna listen to it a couple more times mm. and try to try to find something to like on it. <laughs> but right now, it's just not. It's it's, it's not for you. It, it ain't for me. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Um, I know I just mentioned Lil Nas X a little bit earlier. Mm. Uh, you see that he got a partnership with Wrangler. Oh, Wrangler on my booty, huh? Wrangler on my booty. Mm. So he sent that. He, he well, I sent that to you earlier. Mm. Um, so Wrangler got jeans, and it says Wrangler on my booty on the back pocket, mm. or it says it has the logo, and it just says on my booty, and then it says Lil Nas X on the back pocket. Oh, okay, all right, go ahead, man. How you feel about that? Hey man, listen, partner with these white folks, man. Like yo, mm. you know what I'm saying? Get Walmart popping, man. Mm. Hey man, oh, much 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 love to Lil Nas X. I can't be mad at that, man. Enjoy your little 50, 15 minutes of success, bro. So so who's pissed off about it? It's white people, man. Yes, very. Oh really? Country folks is pissed off. Mm. I can't believe that uh, Wrangler would sell out like this. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, yo, you know what? Going, Country. And going back to what uh, Lord Jamar said on um, that little excerpt that he had, mm-hmm. um, I feel like every other music, every other genre out there has gatekeepers mm-hmm. where we get the nod, they give the nod or they give the nay you know what I'm saying and um, I feel like hip hop don't have enough gatekeepers to give that nod and nay cause we are welcoming to everybody but you know what I'm saying whether they it's ain't clothing to us. whatever it's the music whatever whatever but you know what I'm saying when it comes <coughs> to their shit it's like how dare you, you know? exactly so I'm gonna yeah. read you a couple of the comments one person wrote yeah but Wrangler has been f- hundreds of years been a cowboy country gold type of jeans why would you try to make it about rap music just because the rap music is trying to be country i agree such a step down for wrangler i love wranglers and it's all my dad brother and oldest boy would wear head to toe this is funny we all listen to the song but it's also kind of ridiculous instead of branching out to people who don't even wear your clothing try to make some more styles and the sizes for the ones who do this is ridiculous great way to lose the customers that made you successful to begin with i've been buying ariat jeans lately and i think i might not buy any wranglers again and this is how you lose customers damn can't believe wranglers stoop to that level stop trying to conform and stay loyal to your roots wow no just know wow what a step down for wrangler Wow. I wear Wranglers every day, the only jeans I own, but this right here is a disgrace to the Wrangler and the cowboy slash country heritage. Not impressed, Wrangler. Please don't sell these to Tractor Supply in Stockdale, Tennessee, because I don't want to see these. Definitely a fail on Wrangler's brand image. Hashtag sellouts. I wear nothing but Wranglers, but this is a disgrace. Hashtag country ain't country anymore. They said everything other than nigga lover. Right. (laughs) (laughs) They call Wrangler everything but nigga lover. Let's think about this for a second, right? Right, yeah. Wrangler is a clothing company, right? Right, yeah. As a clothing company, I want my clothes to be on everyone. Right. Regardless. Right, absolutely. Of who it is. Yes, yeah. So why would you now fault Wrangler for for trying to- to Reach out to to, a, a different demographic. Um, it's 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 not even on the flip side where like Gucci um actually insulted the black community yeah or somebody of made uh or like H and H and M yeah you know what I'm saying King of the Monkeys type shit yeah you know what I mean? we didn't in, they didn't insult white people to big up black people or insult um black people to big up white people exactly or any of that it was just like yo we just we just saw we struck while the iron was hot we saw the momentum that this is getting. He yeah. made a dope reference shouting us out in the song, and we could have just took that and, shout out and, and kept ran moving. with it and branded it, but we wanted to involve Lil Nas X on this. And as soon as they gave him the stamp, mm. y'all mad? Mad as fuck. Why, man? Bro, I mean, and uh, that, it's, it's just jeans, so they're not changing the style of it. It's not like now it's baggy or anything like that. It's not like now they're making like you know what I'm saying? Like, well, according to one of the, the commenters, mm. the jeans cost one hundred and twenty nine dollars. 
Okay, that's a little wild. Like, if I can't, yeah, I'm not buying a little Nas X jeans. Fuck out of here. Yeah, I, I, agree, I, I agree with that. Yeah, if I, I agree with that. Here. But let's just, let's just say it was in line with however much their jeans usually cost. Because if you think about it, like they said, Wrangler has always been known to be a country brand, whatever, whatever. Mm. Nigga, if, if, if in high school or whatever, you seen me rocking some Wrangler jeans. You probably clown me. But nigga, you got some Wrangler jeans, like cowboy in the uh, face. Nah, ass, man, yeah. nah. I would never do that. That, that. that was stupid to me. I would clown if, like, yo, your jeans and, like, it's just how your jeans sit on you, bro. That's all That's all that ever mattered to me about jeans. I never cared what brand it was. Me, personally. I don't know about anybody else. But whether it was in, Paco, whether it was Polo, whether it general, was Tommy Hill. In general. In, whatever jeans it was, In general. Bro. In, uh, at certain times in middle, excuse me, in middle school and in high school or whatever, it was certain brands of jeans that was popping. Yeah, whether it was Fat Farm, Aniche, freaking uh, mm. whatever, you know what I'm saying? Whatever nah, the case, I get it. It was, I get it. It was, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. brands of yeah, jeans yeah. that was popping. Averex, whatever. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, Jerome so, jeans. Yeah. yeah. So if you, dude, to, just to be honest, dude, like, as as young kids, if you came through with some Wranglers, you probably get clown, bro. You probably I, think, would. I think that was our time. I don't think now. Now, no. Probably not now. Not now. Not now, though. I don't think we always got to speak in the back in the days. Yeah, <laughs> pretense. And, but not even back in the days, man. Like I feel like I've had Wranglers, man. I had I had jeans. It's you just, owned a pair of Wranglers before, bro? It's just how you let them sit. It's how you rock them. True. It's, that's all. And, and that's it, what it's always been and for me. True. And it's you not, know what I'm saying. I, not, I've seen stupid. I've seen people wearing oversized jeans. And I don't care what brand it is. You look stupid as hell, bro. You look dumb as hell, and it's and it's, and it's not a situation where you pulling up your fucking jeans yeah. to show what anybody yeah, yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. it is that you got on. But if I had a dope shirt and dope sneakers, I don't care, bro. Yeah, jeans, yeah, yeah. Yeah. jeans didn't matter as long as they fit right and they look right. I was I was in. I got. You. I was in, bro. I was in. But you know what I mean? Like it, that's just sad as hell. And I'm I don't I, I, I'm listen. I'm speaking because uh, we we don't we don't we're not saying that that, that those comments represent. The vast or the, yeah. the majority of white people, or yeah, you know, nah, what I'm saying nah, nah. like you know, but if but some of those comments really seem personal, where they 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 said, "Yo, uh, this dude said, let's say he's, he's a tractor salesman, or my boy and my daddy and da da da." That sound like history for them, like yeah. So that 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 holds right. a lot of weight to them. To, to, and they, to me, not, a cup- they it, it, it it's just. I wish those people would just go ahead and say what they were trying to say. Right there. Yes, yeah. to me, a couple of the yeah. undertones of those comments is y'all got niggas wearing this shit now. Yeah, nah, oh yeah, identify. We don't we don't identify with niggas. Nah, or 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 rappers or yeah. urban culture or yeah. what, however you want to say it. And all those that's people, what it sound like to me. And in all their households, that little Nas X song has played multiple times. Yeah. So they know it, they vibe with it, they know the words to it. Yeah. But you know what, man. It's another I, one. It's another one um um that's coming up right now too. Mm-hmm. Uh I forgot the name of the artist when he was like, do the cowboy boogie and uh, uh-huh, well, uh, yeah, uh, shit, man. I'm, I'm sure like, ne- I'm sure next week is it'd be it'd be all over. It's a the fly internet. little it's a fly little song, man. It'd be all over the doing the fucking <laughs> dance to that shit with the, take a sip. Lean back and rock. Hey, listen, it. man. I'm uh, like, hey, yeah, I, I welcome that. Though. I like seeing Niggas that. Go ahead and do fly, that, man. <laughs> the, the, the world is becoming one. The further we go, the further we go along, and some people don't want that, bro. That's okay. That's okay. They're not always gonna be here, bro. They're mm-hmm. not gonna be here. Mm-hmm. And you know, the, these kids that that's not they don't see things the same way these old folks do. So mm. you know, what I mean, life goes on. They be all right. Got you. Hey, we talked about um we talked a little basketball a little for a little minute um last week. Yeah. Um we see these fucking Eastern Conference and Western Conference games going on right now. Um fucking Golden State basically smacking the shit out of uh I Portland. Think, I think they I think they won tonight's game. Let me see right now. Uh Portland won? Uh no, nah, it went into overtime. Let me see where it's at right now. Oh, yeah, Golden State took it. Going so uh 119 and 117. Okay. So like uh, like oh, I was saying Rams to sweep. Yeah, so like I was saying, and I think I said that to you when we spoke about that mm-hmm. shit the last episode. I was just like, yo, man, r- r- with or without KD, they're going to sweep uh, mm-hmm. freaking Portland because it just, it's just a bad freaking matchup for Portland or whatever. Yeah. So, hey, man, I'm a Warriors hater. You know what I mean? But shout outs to them. Mm-hmm. Good, nah, good, I, good, I'm not good. a hater, bro. I'm not. For them, I'm not a hater. I mean, of course. I'm just tired of seeing them win. I am not either. I'm not even there. Either. I don't want to see them as a I don't want to see them lose. At their best, I want to see them lose. I want to see them lose at their best. I don't want to see them go on to lose when they're fucking 
at their worst. So I, I, I'd rather see somebody come in and rightfully take the throne from them, you know what I mean, at their, at their peak. At, mm-hmm. at them performing at their best I, I would love to see that So you know what I mean If Bucks just happen to give them that The work they looking for mm-hmm. Then I, I, then the the Bucks will receive all the accolades from me And I, that's, I'm trying to necessarily see Golden State win But like I said I want to see somebody beat the best You don't, I don't want to see the bout between fucking You know what I'm saying Two nobodies or you know I want to see you gotta beat the best man I want to see you in the ring with Mayweather And knock out Mayweather you know <laughs> yeah. You you think um, you think the the Bucks have what they got to 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 nah man nah no Gold State Damn. Uh, nah Damn, when they start putting up them I threes man I don't either <laughs> you start putting up the threes that that shit start deflating you shit out of you, bro. <laughs> man, they, yo them niggas is no they niggas be soul snatching bro pause they bro. do they do they be soul snatching man yeah yeah and they coming from everybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody contributes on that team, man. It's hard, and bro. They be soul snatching, and, bro. And and I, I played a little. You know what I'm saying? I played quite a bas- bit of basketball in my lifetime. Yeah, yeah. So you know, yeah. I know how the game goes, man. Yeah, so man. yeah, yeah you, you <laughs> run that out, shit hurt, bro. You, you run out of the wing trying to catch that old man that's always open, and they go like fuck. And man. then he be talking shit on top yeah, of it. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> I seen Dane Limbert fucking. <laughs> fucking <laughs> straight, just fucking gave uh, Steph Curry the illest shoulder shrug. I said, yep. That's, that's that pain, bro. I see. I, <laughs> that's that pain, Dame. I know it. That's I know that it hurt man. right there. That's so, hurt, man. hey, man, I hope I hope uh, the Bucks hurry up and uh, you know what I'm saying. I, I know Toronto stole a game mm-hmm. yesterday, but I hope the Bucks hurry up and just get them fuck yeah, out get of there. The fuck out of but here. but the boy Kawhi let to drop some shoes, man. I ain't see them. You ain't see them. I ain't see the new New Balances. You the, ain't see the new New Balances, bro. Check them out right the, there, man. Dads. Where they at? Um. Right there, man. Um, I fucks with him. I fucks with him. Kawhi Leonard's right there, man. I fucks so, with, fuck with the low top and I fuck with the high top. I fuck with both of them. Yes, I I, I mess with this color. Mm-hmm. They they have a black and white color that look kind of wild. And um, I guess you know I'll, I'll throw the little graphic up on the screen so y'all can see it if y'all ain't seen the shit. Yeah. But um, they 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 have two colorways that I've seen so far. They got this uh. Gold, blue, and um, black colorway. Mm-hmm. The little white accents on there. Mm-hmm. Um, the 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 low top shits. The, the low top shits is hard. Yeah, I fuck yeah. with the low top shits. I always shit fuck heavy. with uh, New Balance low top. So yeah, I feel like those high tops. If they put some gray at the the sock top part, mm-hmm. that shit would set it off so fucking dope, man. Or that, the, or like gray at the top and the tongue. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, yeah, at the top of the tongue. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that there that'll be that'll, fly. that'll, that'll be, be fly, fly, man. But Ooh. I mean, yeah, I, I fuck with them as is. I would cop. I personally, I would, would cop. cop that too. Mm-hmm. I, I would, would cop. cop that too. Both of them. Mm-hmm. So, do you think that like now, you know, the sneaker game been dominated for a long time by Nike and Adidas, and yeah, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. Like, do you think it's okay for? And I don't want to say new brands because New Balance been around for years and years and years, mm. but they just not known for making basketball shoes. Even Puma recently, yeah, um, they they jumped back in the game with the Clyde Court joints, mm. and I actually have both pairs of those shits. I got a pair of black ones and a little South Beach colorway yeah. uh, jump offs on those. I just thought they was dope. Yeah, but I think a lot of people now um, they become attached to certain brands, and it's just like only these people should be able mm. to do this. Only Nike should make basketball shoes. Oh, Adidas. Well, who the fuck you know what are I'm you saying? To? No, but if if you look at if you look at look at the court, look at the NBA. Yeah. Ninety percent of the the, the the contracts is Nikes and Adidas. Yeah, but I mean, I I, I love to see this because now it doesn't discourage others from giving it a shot, making an attempt to you know I me mean, get in there. Yeah. I, I think this is dope for New Balance. You know? I think it's dope for them too, especially it, fucking, since the shoe is not ugly. And they found the right one too, you know. They found Ka- Kawhi, which is cuz like it, that's like like when Adidas try to um get James Harden on like but you catch him out in public, it's nigga rocking Nikes. Mm. Like he was the wrong one, man. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, saying? yeah. But yeah, Kawhi yeah, is yeah, the right he was wilding one. out. Kawhi is the right one for this, man. I feel Yeah, like. man. Uh Kawhi d- does co- these shoes sold out? Okay, when they dropped, right? Yeah. Does Kawhi have sellout power? I mean, the man has game, but at at the same time, I feel I feel like 
for me right now, looking at it and looking at the, the whole thing, and, and yeah. from from the minute I knew that he was a new bounce and started looking at his shoes, yeah, because there was clown, I, there was clowning when he first. When I know. He first and, and I heard I heard the clowns. Yeah, but me personally, I was looking like, oh, that's different. Oh, definitely. And that's hip hop. That's what I want to be. Yes, I yes. want to be and different. The, and the same thing with Curry. I want to be first. I want to be new. I. Curry wasn't going to get me with the goddamn fucking <laughs> Under Armour. <laughs> nah. Our Under Armour wasn't, because them shits was all whack. His shoes True. was all whack. True. What about and, the last ones? And, and, and at the same time, Under Armour, New Balances, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I've been buying New Balances for the longest time. Oh, what they call them? The 584s yeah, yeah, or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they have the rocking. meanest fucking color schemes, my oh, nigga. Oh, of course. I, and, yeah. yo, I would buy every... I, I'll buy multiple color schemes to go with different yeah. outfits. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they they're more established. New, New I feel York, New York cats put 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 a uh, New Balance on the map, bro. Right. So I feel like New Balances ha- have have a better stronghold in the style stylization of sneakers and shit like that mm, gotcha. than than that of Under Armour. Mm-hmm. Like Under Armour, you know what I'm saying? We know them for clothing and shit. Mm-hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Uh, I, it's like I, I, I my mind is not prepared to see. On the armor in the shoe game yet, you know what got I mean? You, got like you. they gotta change up that logo. They I gotta, hate that logo. Yeah, bro. they gotta change all that up. You know, what oh saying? that shit is terrible. Like I represent, I fuck with what they represent, but at the same time, that logo ain't doing it stylistically. Nah. nah. So once they change that up, and you know what I'm saying, then I could, I could, I could fuck with the curries and all that. But right now, mm-hmm. like that branding is not doing it for me. Got but you. this, the New Balances. I already fuck with New Balances, and, and I'm, 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 I might just fuck around, cop a pair of them Kawhis. Tomorrow, bro. Be honest with you. If you can get your hand on a pair, yeah, they, yeah, right, right. Because Fuck. because they, they, them shit sold out, yeah. and um, they 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 on the resale now mm-hmm. for upwards as much as seventeen hundred dollars. Okay, bro. okay. Well, they're gonna drop. They're gonna drop again back on the line. Oh yeah, yeah. Of course, so, of course. Yeah, but I'm, like I'm, I said, I, I guess my whole thing with this is that I'm surprised that a sneaker from Kawhi Leonard is correct is, is commanding this much attention. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? It, it, like again, I like the sneaker. It look it's a it's a solid looking sneaker. Bruh, it looks comfortable go, to hoop he, in. Mm-hmm. If he goes to the Knicks, them yo, New Balance is fucking is going to take don't they off. Look like, don't they look like Knicks colorways yeah, though? Yeah, 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 they do, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. If he get if he makes it to the Knicks next season, Yo, New Balance is, is gonna be off the charts, bro. Because mm. like you said, New York put it on the map. Yeah, and yo, they're gonna they're gonna take it to the next hey, level. Hey, hey, you you might you might have hit it on the head, nigga. Yeah. You probably got a I fucking prediction. Code. Yeah, I don't crack. I got a All prediction right. right. Because right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely look like Knicks colorway type shoes, yeah, man. Yeah, so man. hey, this is dope. Yeah, put up the put, yeah put up the little picture picture whatever whatever. I'm yeah, gonna man. look for them shits, bro. For real, All right, bro. All right. Yeah, Fuck man. Shit, man. You pay you paid 129 dollars for? Them? Oh yeah, that's worth 129. Yeah. Oh fuck it, nigga! For some New Balance, bro. Nigga, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the, the regular <laughs> five. Well, yo, them shits be like a good like eighty, eighty five. I yeah, yeah. I pay a buck twenty nine for the. Yeah, I, had, yeah, I, had, yeah, I yeah. had some five, five, uh, eighty fours, five or whatever. Yeah, it is. man. I, I mean, like I'm before. used to it now, man. You go to the fucking Foot Locker, nigga. The shoes you want is gonna be two, two and change, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're I'm right. used to it you're now, right, man. You're right, you know you're what right. I'm saying? Uh, Russell Wilson, man, keep it with the athletes, bro. Russell oh, Wilson, man. Russell uh, Wilson, and future, man. Let's, and future, and future. Uh, and Russell Wilson, con- Sierra, and future. Yo, this, 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 they, they may be in a good spot. I feel, man. <laughs> you set it <laughs> off. Tell me how. Yo, so I mean, like, okay, so it was this young man, Baby Future. Uh, is his name? His name Baby Future? I don't know. Even know the little name. I think it's. I think, think it's name Future. I think future, that's what yeah. it is. Yeah. So Baby Future, you know what I'm saying, celebrated his fifth birthday. Salute to Baby Future, yeah, man. Yeah, salute to ba- Baby Future. Um, man, happy birthday, bro. Yeah. So, um, Baby Future received a Rolex watch mm. for his birthday present from his daddy, mm. Big Future. Pause. So, <laughs> Future bought his- Hey, Big Joe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you- <laughs> Yeah, niggas don't know hey, about that. Hey, you gotta know. Somebody, you gotta, somebody gonna comment and they yeah, gonna know about they that, gonna shit, know about that ahead, shit, But yeah, hey, um, Big Zero. Yeah, so uh, to see uh, Future go ahead and um, buy his son a son son a Rolex watch, you know, what I'm saying the internet is like, yo, like what kind of ignorance is this? And they're contrasting it between uh, the the Russell post post in regards to um, Baby Future. Yeah. So on on Russell's post, you know, he 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 just. Caption it with this heartfelt caption, you know, my life changed mm-hmm. uh, for the better, you know, having you some shit along those lines. Yeah, 
Now, first, let me just get into that real quick. Okay. The and and I, and I got I have license to speak on this. Okay. Because I'm a stepdaddy. All right. So, however, I I don't even think I'm gonna hit it on the stepdad perspective, but I I really would love to hear okay. the stepdad pr- okay. perspective and, I, and, and I, all this. And I, and I talked about this with the wifey too. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well. All right. Well. Well. Listen. I'm gonna go left completely left field on you, but I, I need you to bring it back home. Okay. Where 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 the, where the common people are, because you know my mind kind of crazy sometimes. All right. But my mind goes to here. And I'm a victim of this. However, I'm wondering, what's the significance of the heartfelt post to a five-year-old? What, what, what's the significance of a heartfelt post dedicated to a five-year-old? I think. Why sig- do people do that? I think the it's it's to capture, it's to play on those heartstrings of, 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 of the people of your followers. Right. I think it's the ah. Uh, I want that ah. Uh, but is, I'm a. It's to big me up. Right. That's what. That's that's all it's about. <laughs> that's all it's about. It's to big me up. It's your birthday. That's your child's. Yes. So I never got why people do the overly like. Yo, what you mean? You tell me like when this kid becomes older, he's gonna dig up your old Instagram posts and see what it was. You say Papa, Papa. Papa Russell. Yeah, and, and, hey, shit, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. My ch- my kids ain't old enough to, you know what I'm saying, but has... And, and Instagram ain't old enough. Yeah, but, and yeah, Instagram ain't old enough, so maybe is Instagram a new photo album? Is that a new... Pretty much. Um, hey, know? man, there's people out here creating Instagrams for their babies yeah. as soon as they're born. Like, their babies got private freaking Instagram. You know? Okay, I, yeah, that I could see. Yeah. So if you put enough from your, your the child's Instagram um uh, uh platform and saying mm-hmm. okay, happy birthday to you da da da. So now this child could go go back and see the catalog of all the things that were said about them. But yeah. you know what I'm saying I, I can't pull up my old fucking MySpace account. So who's to say Instagram is gonna be here mm-hmm. in, in those times? So when people post those things, mm-hmm. I often wonder who is this for? Dude, Why are you doing this? Why are you? Me what, what's the big? It's for me to big me up. Right. So now the end of the internet is giving Russell all the credit and the praises in the world, and shooting down future, and shooting down future for copying his son a Rolex, man. Yeah, it's fucked that's, up. That's fucked up. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. But but when I look at it, it was right, something about when the fucking the first time a, Ro- a Rolex touched my wrist, you know what I'm <laughs> I had this, a certain feeling that I had. Yeah, I don't know if that was meta- metaphorically speaking. For that was from that was from Meek verse. Yeah, Meekverse. yeah. yeah. But I don't know if it was metaphorically speaking for when his son was born yeah. or whatever the case is. I don't know. Yeah, right. But like the way I looked at it, and, I, and like I said, I talked to the wife about it too. And I was just like, I was like, I, I feel like Russell was, I feel like Russell is clout chasing, right? Mm-hmm. And, 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 I see, and I feel and, like Future is clout chasing right back. Mm, oh yeah, think, oh yeah! One more try. I gotta try to I, outdo y'all. I know y'all gonna I come think, with it. I think that I think that Russell is cloud chasing in the sense that mm. oh, I yeah. got I got the hearts of these ratchets yeah, right yeah, now yeah, because right, these ratchets right. love Sierra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. got the hearts. Let me, of these let me ratchets. continue being the oh, the good guy. Yes. Yeah, I, I bet you he's a piece of shit behind. Yes. Like, let me play on these hearts. Like, yeah. nigga, I already done bought my mama a house for, oh, for yeah, Mother's yeah. Day oh, it's last yours. week. It's yours. What took you so long, nigga? You know what I'm saying? That's I, what I, I saw. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I saw. I was like, "Yo, that's dope. You bought your mama he house and contract. all that." Remember, he got a contract recently. The guaranteed. The, the guarantee, but he been had mills. True, but your he, mama can't just got a house just he's now. He's currently the highest paid player in. in the NFL. But he was getting banks. Deserve it or not? He, he he. After his rookie contract was up, he got banks. He did. He got banks. Definitely. You ain't just get money. You been had it. Of course. But Sierra got you know what I'm saying all that shit. So, so your mama should be. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. If I ain't a millionaire, mm-hmm. but it ain't gonna take me to get to ten to buy my mama crib, bro. It ain't gonna take me to get to ten. One hundred. It ain't gonna take me to get to ten. One hundred. I, I ain't gonna be like, yeah, I got this mill right now, but I can't wait till I get nine mo before I cut my mama. I crib. agree. Nah. I agree. I agree. All rip is getting cops. So, so yeah, I mean, you shout out to him for doing it. I'm not definitely on it. But definitely. It's just yeah. All right. So so I think that he's trying to pull on the heartstrings of the of the, of the young ratchets out there that's been yeah. following uh Sierra. And uh-huh. he, he knows his audience. Oh yeah, absolutely. So absolutely. he was just like, yo, let me let me continue to be that good guy. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be that shining. I'm gonna be that beacon of light for all y'all that's yeah, out there yeah, dating yeah. these dope boys. Yeah. It's some good guys like me at the end of the rainbow. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, like I said, man, I think that 
for me, and I said that to the wife. I was like, "Yo, I said, you know, I, yo, I said I, I, I've posted my, I said I posted my stepdaughter before. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I've posted pictures on her birthday and whatever. And I mm-hmm. said, you know, every night it, for the most part, it's just happy birthday. You know, mm-hmm. this, that, and the third, da, 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 da. I think last year, or she, she brought it to my attention yeah. that I did something in the sense of what mm-hmm. Russell did mm-hmm. this year. Mm-hmm. So I don't, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if that was like a genuine type of situation or whatever, but I can only speak at it as speak as a spectator looking at this whole situation and say, you know what? I think that you know your audience, you know how many followers you have, yeah. you know the whole situation. Yeah. I feel like you did this shit for attention. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Me, what I did, it was from the heart. You know what I'm right, saying? If yeah. I posted a little extra, yeah, and you hey, posted you know, to da, 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 a teenager whatever. that could understand the, the, that too. Those sentiments. That too. A five year old is not understanding those sentiments. The only time a five year old understands those sentiments is when you are at home and you're showing him or her that type of love. Mm-hmm. They could appreciate it, but to post it online. That child doesn't understand that, so mm-hmm. you weren't talking to that child. You were talking to everybody yeah. else. It's for I me, felt. man. I'm, was, a, yeah. I'm the greatest dad. I'm doing this. Yeah. I'm doing that. Right, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. This nigga's a fuck nigga. <laughs> yeah. And then that's what I was saying. That's why future. I feel like he, yo, bro. I don't cop my son a nice digital watch. You know where it's at right now? It's under the bed somewhere. Hmm. hmm? Where the fuck you think a Rolex is gonna end up, my nigga? Like. Hey man, does this kid how much was it? How much was it? Like twenty something thousand or something? I don't know. Hey. I, I never, I never, I never thought rich, I could afford it. So rich nigga shit, man. They, they, you know what I'm saying? They, they, hey, yeah, but I'm saying like, <laughs> <laughs> your love can be bought. That's what it, that, is that what it said? That's what that's, it is. That's what it. That's what it sounds like to me. It sounds like the love, mm-hmm. the love that I have for you as my child can be bought, and it also and can be bought for the people from many, the outside looking in would say, yo, yeah. It's a couple of people that's gonna say, "Why would you spend that kind of money on a on a on a five six year old?" Yeah. But then others will probably look at it like, mm-hmm. "Yo, man, no money in the world is um, mm-hmm. is enough for me to spend on my child." Blah. blah. It's, it's different ways you could flip it, bro. I mean, yo, how many kids does Future have though? Quite and a few. Do the rest of them just get fucking Rolexes? We don't. I feel like well, well, I feel like if they don't, so well, who posted it? Mm. The, the, the Rolex mm. And I feel like If the rest of them kids Ain't getting Rolexes Then they, they, It's they, clearly I, I, It's clear to see What you're attempting to do right So here. we need to do Some investigative yeah. reporting yeah. And check out Future Instagram And yeah, see yeah. There's hey, gonna be some Tight ass baby mamas Out here If they, right? they, 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 they Their daughter don't get yeah. Something You know what I'm saying Extravagant Because, because you're one of your Baby mamas famous You gonna yeah. post that bitch <laughs> <laughs> Hey yo But I ain't gonna lie Sierra still look like She could grind me in one bro I ain't gonna Fucking lie to you, but go ahead. I've never been a fan of Sierra like hey, that. Man, since she's, she's a good looking woman. I I I'm not even like physic I don't I don't find her like super attractive. I'm just like the way she She can move. move. She can move. The she way can she move. move. Like, yeah. look, like that's not she did. All right, I'm I'm uh, toxic, toxic. I'm be toxic. Yeah. I'm being toxic. Let me stop. Let me stop. Yeah, yeah. That's she toxic. Can, she can move. That's man. toxic. She that's can toxic. move, bro. You know, so mm. it is it is what it is, man. Mm. So yeah. where we at now, man? What what else what else we got for them, man? What else we got for him, man? Uh, Deontay Wilder, you saw uh, the knockout heard around the world. I was, I was, I was actually working that night, and I was looking for the link to um to jump on it. Yeah, but thankfully I didn't get one because I didn't need it. Right, it's uh, over in over in a couple minutes, bro. Over in a couple less, of minutes, less man. than less than two minutes, I think it was, or minutes, right around man. the two minute mark. With a basic like ass setup, man. Oh, I mean, where? <laughs> yeah. I yeah. feel like it was a basic setup. I feel like for an advanced boxer, that's that you shouldn't be getting caught with the the the, the jab right. Well, setup. they didn't show it, but he got caught earlier with something similar. Oh, okay. So he had got caught oh, earlier, okay. and he got hurt a little bit earlier, and he was trying to weather the storm. Mm. So um, this was him basically trying to weather the storm, where he didn't really overcome it. And then mm. a lot of times you look at these punches, bro, mm. and they don't look that hard. Oh, man. now that shit look hard. And that shit was on the chin. That wasn't even on the temple. It was. It was. It wasn't it even was. on the temple. It was on the chin. That yeah. Shit. Yeah. But sometimes sometimes a lot of these punches, they don't look that hard. If you look at it, mm. Deontay Wilder is like, what, six, seven, six, eight, mm-hmm. or some shit like that. 200 and, you know what I'm saying, 25, 230 pounds or whatever. Dude, yeah, is, dude solid. is fit. Solid, yeah. Dude is fit. He got some chicken legs, but dude is freaking fit, man. Mm. So knock the fuck out of this dude. And, and, and most of us don't know who... 
Dominic Brazil is because I'm a fan of boxing and I'm gonna tell you uh, this was the second fight I seen him and this was the second time I seen him get knocked out. Okay, what the, the Joshua fight is the other one that you saw? Yeah, and, and, and yo, he made Joshua was looking amazing in that fight, bro. Yeah, but jo- Joshua didn't knock him out until the seventh round. Right, but and, Joshua was. Just giving them that 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 I I like to see Joshua's technical skills. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. Yeah, yeah. For a big man, yeah, he definitely got a lot of technical. Yeah, skills so yeah. yeah, so he was giving them that work, mm. and then knocked and, his and ass I out. I think Joshua said something along the lines like he wasn't, he was he was hoping that it would go the distance so that his fight wasn't compared to um yeah the Wilder's fight. Now yeah. to see that not Wilder knock him out first round, you know the comparison is gonna be gonna be made and definitely the conclusion is gonna be drawn. So I, I, how do you see that going potentially? Joshua versus Wilder. Um, I'm rooting for Wilder, mm-hmm. I guess, because I'm I'm American and I want to see the American fighter win mm-hmm. and all that shit. So I'm I'm rooting for Wilder, but I think that Joshua is the best, was the better boxer mm-hmm. of the two. But to be honest with you, dude, if I'm betting money, I'm betting my money on Wilder. Oh, okay, you know what I'm saying? 40, 42 wins and forty two or forty one knockouts or forty knockouts or whatever. That ain't that ain't that ain't no bullshit. That ain't no yeah, fluke. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I was talking to somebody from the job recently, and they were just like, "Oh, you know, and he ain't fighting nobody, and the heavyweights ain't what they used to be, yeah. and you know what I'm saying, hating on the new school cats and fighting and all that." I'm like, "Yo, I get it, I understand." Yeah. But at the same time, I said, "Yo, these cats that he fighting ain't just getting in there and laying down. Nah, nah he laying not. these niggas down. Yeah, for sure, <laughs> for sure. So, um." Uh, with, with that said, like, um, do you feel like he's bringing that feel back? I think he is, and I think I think to bring that feel back, it needs to be a heavyweight. Mm, yeah, it needs absolutely. to be an American heavyweight that's bringing that feel back. And and talking I think, that shit like he's talking. Yes, and th- and he did it two ways. Mm-hmm. He talked that shit and he backed it up. Absolutely, because if you remember, he, he was in the headlines. Strong shit. He was in the headlines earlier this week mm-hmm. for oh. If uh, you know, what I'm saying this is the only sport where it's legal to kill a man, mm-hmm. and I've been wanting to catch that body for a long He's time. Like, Why not take advantage of my rights to exactly to legally it's, kill someone? It's not illegally. It's not illegal. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> so he, he, I didn't, I didn't seek him. Mm-hmm. He seeked me. <laughs> Using bad grammar and talking every what? strong shit. What? What's he Formula you rest- for success, yes, bro. You're restoring that feel, bro. <laughs> definitely restoring So he that definitely feel. restored the feel with that. And then, like I said, he backed it up by getting in the ring, first round knockout. So I think that what's going on now is mm-hmm. that these people, when they see this, is bringing them back to the times of Tyson, where it's just mm-hmm. like, yo, man, don't blink. This shit might be over. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, you know, yeah, we paid $59 for this shit, $60, but. Yo, this shit might be over. Sit your ass down, grab your popcorn, everything before this shit start, because yeah. somebody gonna get laid out. Yeah, and man. I, and and I think that he's he's definitely he's restoring that feeling, and he's bringing and, and bringing and that carnage back. I we we that's what we love Tyson for for the carnage, man. Yeah, and he's been doing it though. Mm-hmm. It's not he's like been, it's not he didn't just say that. He said it on the Breakfast Club before. Yeah, he said it on different different platforms. However, um, that 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 one particular interview got and, and got what, put out there and, more so. And as me as a fan of boxing, mm-hmm. what I like about this knockout specifically is that it got into the meme realm. Mm. It got into the the mm. realm of people who don't usually watch boxing and yeah. they just look at that shit and they say, yo, this is dope. This is great right here. Yeah. We need to put this out so that my followers see this too and da 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 and then that's like, yo, who's Deontay Wilder? Yeah. Uh, why I ain't never heard of this cat? Blah, blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Right, and right. I think that it does nothing but enhance the sport mm. and enhance Deontay Wilder in the names of people who the casual fans who don't really watch boxing, like yeah, that, man. man. I'm so. glad. I'm glad you, you're absolutely right. I think we all we 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 had that sentiment uh, many moons ago when we spoke about it. Yeah, man. Uh, it definitely is going to take uh, a heavy weight to bring it, bring restore that feeling. And yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad to see somebody doing that right now. Definitely, man. So yeah. shout out to your Deontay, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, dismantling the homie like that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It was entertaining. He I mean, sought me. Yeah, I, I, to be to be honest with you, as a fight fan, I wish it would have went a little bit longer, but I'm not mad at it, nah. bro. I mean, it was Showtime. I, I, I like that. It was on Showtime. I got Showtime at the crib, but so I could still kind of watch the fight. But yeah, yeah, I'm glad it wasn't pay per view, and you know, a lot of people got to see that fight. So. For sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Boxing, boxing is still alive and well, man. Yeah, man. 
Um, so I guess uh, if we wanna... get well soon to um, Brazil, man. I mean, uh, I think people take it for granted what these fighters uh, put on the line for for the sake of our entertainment, um, yeah. whether it be UFC or boxing. I know a lot of them deal with deal with a lot of depression after you know saying losses of that stature. And, yeah, yeah. You know they head trauma. You know they have to stay in dark rooms. Light affect them and. Just all the 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 the, the things they that come life with that, on man. The line, life man. on the line for it. So you know, we shout out to that fighter, man. I want <laughs> like Deontay uh, said, the head is not meant to get hit. <laughs> yeah, so I, I won't want to take nothing away from um Put that shit on his shirt. What bro. the what the the loser the about um brought to the table? Yeah, man. yeah, yeah, man. Um, we ain't had a black and mild moment in a little while, so you know, yeah. trying to break out the black and mild moment. I break out Newport guy. Newport moment. Mm. Uh. Malaysia Booker And mm-hmm. I don't believe that we spoke about this Initially when it happened But there was a situation um, A little while ago I want to say in April This is May yeah. So earlier in April There was a transgender woman By the name of Malaysia Booker mm-hmm. That was assaulted on camera And this is uh, in Dallas, Texas I didn't see that uh, I Who was saw she assaulted it, by? I saw it but I don't think we spoke about it on mm. the on the on the podcast. Okay. So Malaysia Booker is a transgender woman who was in a- April made national headlines when she was assaulted after a, a, a fender bender in a in a parking lot mm-hmm. in her complex or some shit like that. Mm. So either she crashed into somebody. I think she crashed into somebody. Mm. I don't think. Yeah. I think that's what it was. Was it by that white dude? No, no, no. It was, some oh, black, it was a whole, whole bunch of black folks. Okay. And she crashed into somebody, and some kind of altercation happened, and multiple dudes ended up pounding on homegirl, mm-hmm. Mrs. Booker. Yeah. And it, it, it made national headlines or whatever, whatever, and it kind of sparked a, a conversation about uh, the, the violence that transgenders face and um, they was talking about it specifically in the black community and this that and the third yeah. I think it was um, either this year so far then they said like somewhere between 23 and 28 transgender women have been killed mm-hmm. and um, a high percentage of them has been black women mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying so it's, it's, a, it's a sad situation for people that's uh, preying on this community and as a black man, like you, like you think about it now, as a black man, um, we don't want people to just be killing me and you because we black, right? Or killing somebody because they Asian or Absolutely whatever, whatever, or killing not, somebody yeah. because they transgender or gay. Absolutely we don't support not. that shit. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Nah. So to no, um, to no capacity. Yeah. So uh, recently, now a month later. She's found dead. Mm. So, a month after she made the headlines for getting assaulted on video, now she found her. They they found dead. So they say up up on arrival, officers found the complainant lying face down in the street, deceased from homicidal violence. Uh, Booker, who was identified by medical examiners, was assaulted in April in a Dallas apartment complex parking lot after what police described as a minor traffic accident. Authorities said that they were investigating the attack as a possible hate crime. Police said there is no no evidence that the shooting and the earlier attack are related. The April incident was captured on video, and then they have the video here. 29-year-old Edward Thomas was arrested in his role in the initial attack wherein he and other suspects were reported to have used homophobic slurs towards Booker, who suffered a fractured wrist and a concussion. Uh, The father spoke on it, said that this don't need to be happening. Um, People was angry about it, the LGBT community, this, that, and the third. So, um, like I said, man, it's like... It's a black and mild moment. It's a while. It's, it's it's been a while since we did a black and wild moment, man. And it, it sucks that this person has been making the news pretty much two months in a row. Yeah. For negative things, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely, man. Um. Uh. Re- regardless how you feel, man. Everybody deserves the right to live, and um. Mm-hmm. You know. Uh. We don't. We don't condone any kind of violence. If that's not uh, the lifestyle that you choose to live with, you know what I'm saying, there's, there's, that's, that's that person's right uh, and choice to 
do what they may with their life. Yeah. And you, sh- you shouldn't let it let affect you, especially to the point of violence, man. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's just live and let live, man. Definitely. We, we can't we can't we can't be doing shit like that, man. And you know, and like you said, it's it's um predominantly in the black community, and um, we don't want to further that narrative of you know what I'm saying us being violent, especially amongst ourselves, you know. And, yeah. Um, we just gotta be careful of those things, man. We don't. I mean, just we, this that's that's senseless, man. That's, that's yeah. That's pathetic, and uh, you know. Definitely, man. So, um, R.I.P. Malaysia Booker, man. Yeah, definitely. Um, it, like I said, man, it sucks to hear this. Uh, in general, dude, not not just the. LGBT community and the transgenders or whatever, whatever. It, it, it just sucks in general to hear because it, it all gets highlighted, especially when it's us against us. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. It all gets highlighted as black on black crime and mm. you know, y'all don't look... You know what I'm saying? Because we already looked upon as lesser and then now stuff like this is like y'all ain't even with, with each other, whether it's our community sub communities whatever whatever like so it, it like i said again man it just sucks this to to for the situation for this person malaysia booker to be making the news two months in a row one um you know getting brutally beat down and then the next month losing her life so you know what i mean r.i.p to malaysia and um hey man we need to uh practice a little bit more tolerance out here yeah and just uh you know change nah. change 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 some of the way we think and change some of the way we act in and, 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 and do better, man. Well said, man. Um, The big topic, dude, I know it took us a little while to get there and what I'll do is um, I'll put a little uh, a time stamp in the um, description for those that want to hear about this, our thoughts on this subject specifically, but abortion, dude. Abortion is, is, is being brought to the forefront um, recently because of new laws in Alabama. So give y'all a gist of the law in Alabama and it's, it's for the most part it's outlawing abortions period. So it's making it illegal for you to have abortion in the state of in the state of Alabama. Mm. Um and a, a lot of the provisions in there is specifically about even if you've been raped even if you were molested by a family member, um, and it was something else, I can't think of right I, now. I don't think rape. I think rape. They said that um, it's tolerable if if you reported it. So it's like somebody stole your iPhone or some shit like that. You gotta mm-hmm. have a fucking um, you gotta file a police report. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Or somebody stole your driver's license. You know, you gotta file a police report in order to get a new one or whatever. So they they said. Um, I think uh, what I've read is that yeah, if you if that person is um suffering medical uh, if it, if it's uh, threatening that person's life, the mother's life, or that that's, that was the third one. Yeah, if it's threatening the mother's life or um, it was rape, then you have to have documentation um uh, backing up those claims. Okay, so it's it's definitely also. In, in, in other states like Georgia, I think Ohio, mm. a couple of uh, videos I watched, they mentioned a couple of other states. Mm. It just seemed like something that's been brought up in the forefront now where a lot of states is is writing new laws and they, 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 they're um, drafting bills to speak about abortion and this, that, and the third. But Alabama passed a law. Mm. And y'all go check the law. We, you know what I'm saying, we ain't here to fucking map out the fucking law from A to A to Z or whatever the case is. But for the most part, abortions is banned for the most part. Yeah, in, yeah, in, they, in um, Alabama, and, right? And it's punishable by um they they saying that if you participate in it, yeah, you could be charged with um murder. Exactly, mm-hmm. and it's well, not could be, you will be charged with murder. Yeah. So mm-hmm. what a lot of the people that were are against this bill are saying that the doctors who perform the abortion along with the patient can get more time in prison than the person if, let's just say, if it was a rape or if it was some kind of incest or involuntary incest or something like that. Like, as the doctor and as the patient, you can get more time in prison than the person who actually committed the act. So what I'm starting to notice about this whole bill and the, the outrage right now is the outrage to me seems to have more to deal with the 
rape and um, incest aspect of it rather than just banning the abortions totally. Yeah. Is that is that what you feel too, or repeat that again one more time for me? What I've been noticing is that a lot of people, yes, they're outraged about the whole not being allowed to have an abortion situation, mm-hmm. but the 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 biggest outrage is the 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 provisions or whatever it is that's in the bill. I forgot. I'm I'm not using the right terminology, but they're speaking about um, being raped yeah. and being molested by a family member uh, a victim of incest yeah, slash cause rape I, I feel like those are the easiest moral contrasts to draw when it comes to situations like this Yeah, people tend to go to that and it's like what about rape what about incest and all those things mm-hmm. um, I think those are the um, easiest conclusions to draw and uh, the easiest arguments to argue mm-hmm. um, I don't I, 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 you know um, I would have to say personally me personally um I'm hearing a lot of people saying, you know, it's nobody's business. And I, I feel like they're, they're right in that sense where, you know, the state or the government or anybody else shouldn't be have the right to tell somebody what else what to do with their bodies. Yeah. Um, I feel like that's wrong. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, I'm not agreeing with abortion either. You see what I'm saying? So um, um, I, I'm taking that standpoint. I'm not I wouldn't say me personally, I would put it into law that thing but I, I would have to say you know what people need to acknowledge what they're doing out there um getting involved with people and you know having kids that they're not prepared to have or just having unprotected sex and not being safe out here and you know what that's a part of the consequences and just having an abortion to get rid of it it shouldn't that shouldn't be the answer however i do not believe that a state or anybody else should be telling people what to do henceforth and i and i i, I think i follow the same um sense of belief or the same I, I, I'm with you on that yeah. so I, I think when, when, when you say that now a lot of people take offense to that they take offense and, to it because mm-hmm. it's like what you're saying and what I'm saying is, is, as well is I don't think that abortion should be used as a sense of birth control Yeah. where it's just like uh, well I ain't mean to get pregnant so yeah I didn't practice safe sex but let me just go ahead and get this abortion yeah and I don't know if that's the mind state of thousands of women in the United States. I'm not saying that is the mind state of yeah. thousands of women in the United States. Mm. But I don't support that mind state where it's just like, okay, I fucked up. Let me just go ahead and get an abortion. Right. You know what I'm saying? But on the other end, just like you just said, I'm not out here advocating and saying that the laws need to change and you need to do... Um, you have to have that baby now. Yeah, no, I, 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 that's what I'm. I mean, they should. I, I guess in the sense that we should have laws that protect people's lives. Yeah. But at the same time, like we we need to protect lives from conception all the way up till death. You know. And, yeah. Um, it, you know, somebody made the point that it's like, yo, okay, we, we, people care about more about the fetus than they care about that baby once that baby is actually on this on the earth, you know what I'm saying? Once that baby is actually born, it's just like, yo, fuck them. Let the cops shoot them. Let somebody, you know what I'm saying? Let them kill yeah. each other. Like, we don't care about, they don't care about things like that. So I think if you're going to care about life, then you should show more action about uh, about caring for life, period. Worrying about this state of of life specifically, it feels like it's, it's, it's feel like a, a sense of entitlement for people to, to be able to tell people what to do with their bodies and, yeah, you know, yeah. At, at that point, I, that's 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 a little bit too intrusive. I feel that I decision. S- this decision should not be left up to the law in any capacity. I've been I've been watching a lot of videos on this, and it's it's a lot of moral, it's a lot of religious, it's a lot of it's a lot of different conversations. I feel like that only comes from religious. I don't feel like um, morally. I don't know. I, I I feel like that's just a religious standpoint, and I feel like you know just more conservatives or you know. Are, are, are particular to that you know now that um, there's a Republican in office or whatever a lot of these things are getting passed and so okay so from a li- uh, from a, li- a religious standpoint do do we think that religious standpoint should be taken into consideration when we talking about making laws um, because that to me, yeah, I, I, to I, me, that's I, what it, it comes down to it, in the state it, of it, Alabama. Yeah, in the Bible, I, I, don't, I can't quote it because um, you know, I can't quote it, so I, I, I hate to even try to attempt it. But I believe there is something like you know, saying some obey the laws of the land and some 
something to that aspect. Yeah. It, uh, uh, is in there. However, I just I just feel like these this is just one of them topics. This is one of them issues where it's like, look, man, uh, I can't see how that affects you or society, man. So you know, let people do what they want. I guess. Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean, if that's somebody's choice, they have to live with that. Mm-hmm. And um, True. living with it, I, I feel like it's not something that everybody gets over. And I think mm-hmm. it, I feel like that's a, a a strong thing to do in, in most instances and you know maybe uh, i feel like women that have done it you know they they, they suffer f- emotionally you know what i'm saying afterwards even men too you know like that's a tough decision to make all right so you know especially after the, there's a heartbeat that's in there did you did, did i just kill somebody exactly did i just take a life and so, but yeah. however like i said it's i don't I don't see the law getting involved with that. I don't see how that's necessary. All right, so let's let's speak from that standpoint. The standpoint of um, it's a woman's decision, and only a woman should be decide should be deciding what to do with her body, and mm. it's her decision. And it's the woman, and it's this and that. Like it's it's, so, it's some people that's hard line on that where to the point where you can't you you can't have any kind of rational conversation to them about this, this, this whole situation. Mm. So I'm hit it with the personal shit. When I was in high school, I got a young woman pregnant, right? And at the time, my response to her was to me was the only res- the only response to have or the right response to have was, yo, I'm not ready for a child right now. But if you decide that you want to have this kid, I'm going to do whatever I need to do as the kid's father to have this child. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I was on. Do I want you to have this kid? No, I don't. To be 100% honest, I don't. I'm a young dude. I'm not ready to be a father right now. Blah, 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 blah. But I'm not encouraging you at the same time to go and have an abortion. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, my my stance at the time was, yo, whatever you decide to do, I'm just going to have to live with it. I'm here for you either way. You know what I'm saying? And obviously, the young woman decided not to have the child. So, it was one of them situations where, for me, it was just like, damn, should I have tried harder to encourage her to have this child then it's one of them situations where as the years go by you say yo damn that was October 2000 uh, damn my child would have been one right now in 2001 mm-hmm. my child would have been two right now and you're thinking about birthdays mm-hmm. and this that and the third whatever whatever you know what I'm saying so it's not a, a, a lot of people they're making it seem like oh it's just a woman's decision and only she and her doctor are supposed to make this decision. Da, 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 da. Like, yo, nah, that's not necessarily the case. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it absolutely. takes two people to to to, yeah, to so make a baby. It should, it should be both of y'all decisions. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like I said, I'm not gonna sit here and say that I disagree or I agreed with the young woman's at the time. If if you know, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But I mean, some people will say that decision was made when. You decided to stick your dick in Like You made that decision To make the baby then You know what I mean Yeah And she made that decision as well Yeah Cause those are The results Of that I wouldn't want to say consequences You know what I'm saying I, I get you life, I get you Life is beautiful mm-hmm. You know what I mean I, sp- I spoke to my son the other day And he just was like Yo He was just saying I'm happy to be here And I'm like Yo I'm happy you here too man Yeah And you know You know Life is a beautiful thing It's not bad for everybody Definitely. Um, so yeah. Um, and then again, to call the consequences is, is kind of heavy to say. However, yeah, you're right. Um, is is it a woman solely's decision or is it, is it both decision? But you know, what I'm saying I feel like uh, we're, people tend to feel like where the, a man is coming from, he's he's coming from a selfish standpoint. Yeah. However, um, is it? I mean, if a man is saying, "Look, I'm not prepared to do this." Is that a selfish standpoint? I don't think it's a selfish standpoint. I think it's it's an honest standpoint. Right. And to be honest with you, 
I speak to people, married people, people, you know, single people about having kids. And I say, yo, at the end of the day, none of us are prepared to have kids. No, nah, Because nah. it's no guarantee that your your child is going to have two eyes, two mm. hands, two feet. You know what I'm saying? This, none that, that, the third. Yeah, like, none of that is it's, it's, it's always a risk. It's always challenges that go along and with all, it. And challenges the whole way once you have a child, One, you know what I'm saying? 100%. Dealing with a child, your child may, you know what I'm saying, have limitations or, you know, it's just teaching and nurturing that child. There's, exactly. there's a whole bunch of things that, you know what I'm saying, horizon having a child. But at the same time, like, I mean, look, I've, and I'm going to say something ignorant as fuck, but I love pussy. For real, for real, little pussy. Yeah, but I've never s- fucking forgot that <laughs> being in here <laughs> could conceive a child. Like, Definitely, I've never yeah, forgotten yeah. that. Yeah, see, you know what I mean? Like I've never forgotten that. So I don't, I, I, I don't understand when people <laughs> do that and make kids, and now they have to make that, 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 that the heavy choice. I never got that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. and I, I may be speaking from like my, high, I might be sitting on a high horse right now. Yeah, I don't know, but you know, I just, I, I never got that, man. It's like, yo, look. And then uh, again, y'all been to health class. <laughs> y'all know what happens, man. Again, again, even uh, going a little bit further, even mm-hmm. with my daughter. You know what I'm saying? When my daughter, when my, when my girlfriend at the time, my, my baby's mama, she got uh, my daughter's mom. She mm-hmm. got pregnant with my daughter. It was a situation back and forth between me and her at the time. I believe she was about 19. I was 20 at the time. Mm -hmm. And she didn't want to have a child. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I, not saying that I was ready, but I wanted to have a child because I was like, yo, I had this experience before. Mm -hmm. And I know how it feels. And I know that I don't want to go through this whole situation again. Word. So... You know what I'm saying? It was a back and forth for me and her. And, um, you know, me and you spoke and we talked about playing songs at the end of the, the mm. podcast or whatever, whatever. And I made a song about it. Mm. And the song that I made described exactly the whole situation where she wanted to have the kid. She wanted she didn't want to have the kid. I wanted to have the kid. But. Mm-hmm. I said, yo, at the end of the day, it's her decision because this is her body. You know, I can't say, hey, well, all you got to do is yeah. carry this kid for nine months and then give him to me or mm-hmm. give him to my mom or give it up for adoption or whatever. Like, it's easy for us to just, yeah, just carry the kid and give it away. It's easy for us to say that. So the song that I made basically chronicled um, the time that I was in the abortion clinic waiting for her to have an abortion and then thank thankfully she decided not to have the abortion mm. and then now my, my my young daughter is is uh almost 15 years old age mm. right now so mm. you know what i'm saying i guess i just want to speak from that story this with your daughter? huh you share that story no. with your daughter no hope she never listens to this podcast <laughs> <laughs> that'll be wild <laughs> right <laughs> i'll be ready to deal with that You're like yo you almost didn't make it yo. <laughs> but but i mean i would hope that yeah a child would understand that it's you know what i'm saying it's not like okay i knew you yeah <laughs> nah, and, you know nah, what I'm saying? I, nah they don't think about it like that by no means <laughs> <laughs> no yeah. beats. They, just think they about will personalize that shit. That's mm. fucked up. I almost wasn't here. God Mama damn. ain't must want me. Like that. Oh, really? Shit, she, man. Uh, cut, uh, cut, cut. It's all cut. cut. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I mean, back just just to sum it all up. I'm just leaving with my personal opinion on it, man. Mm. Listen, once again, um, I do not believe the, the the government should get involved with these decisions. However, man, I it's like we all know what happens when we all hit that bedroom or wherever it is. This is a possibility and it's on the table and I don't feel like people should use that as an option to cop out. So I feel like abortion shouldn't just be off the table, period. Period, period, period. You but feel however, like it should be? Should be? It shouldn't be an option for people unless in the situation of rape or incest in those instances. However... I wouldn't pass a law to say it ain't so. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm. So, like, I just feel like, yo, listen, man. Well, just, just practice safe sex or get your pull out game strong or. But, but just, it's but it's not that simple it though. It ain't oh, that simple, man. It it it. 
I, it's I it's mean, a longer conversation that could be had. Like yo, like literally, we we could sit here and talk about this shit for hours upon mm-hmm, hours. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not a, it's not a simple situation. as, you know what I'm saying? Getting your pull up game on point, or you know what I'm saying? Wearing a condom or whatever. Like, yo, things happen, bro. Things happen, and mm. some people aren't ready for kids, and some people are. Yo, and, listen, and and, 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 and again, and some people I'm, aren't, I'm, and some people are, but um, I I I I. I, I, I like I, I don't believe that, man. Like I, I guess maybe just speaking on what I understood off rip is, yeah, you know, you could have a child, and are you ready to have a child? And my so, answer, hold on, hold on, at, before you say that, before you say at, that, as, as a young man, was just always no. And until I was, that's when I went, went ahead and did what I had to do. But. Okay, so you said the perfect thing. So it, it's. I, I I okay. We all know we. I knew and, when and, I was going to have my daughter. I knew what I was doing. True. And my and son, the, not so much, but it was because she was on birth control and she had stopped birth control, and I wasn't aware, and that happened. But I feel you. Everybody it, has their own unique circumstances, mm-hmm. but dude, it's not as simple as get your pullout game strong or. Strap yeah. up it's, Yes dude, yes it's, it is man It's, it's, it's it is as simple killer. as that it, it, and, and at the end of the far, day At the end of the day By far it is Cause it's like Yo listen If If you ain't ready for the game Don't participate <laughs> <At the, laughs> See Niggas ain't wanna hear that That's, at the end that's of, deep at, No 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 Stay right there Stay right there Hold on Dub, No hold on, stay hold right on. there let me, let me If make, you ain't ready for the game Don't participate At the end of the day That's That's a, that's a stronger message We all know Here We, we all know We, we all know we That the possibility Here we bro. go Here we go Celebrating ignorance Here we go We're not celebrating yes, ignorance Yes you are You celebrating ignorance We all know that There's a possibility That a pregnancy Can arise from this shit bro We all know that Okay. Everybody knows. Both right. parties know that. Yo, okay. All right. it's a possibility that the child. Okay. Can, All right. Okay. So let's just say, I right, nigga, I like it raw better than I do with the condom on. You know what I'm saying? Let me just make up, make sure my pullout game strong, and my pullout game is strong. And then she mess around and have a baby. Or she mess around <laughs> and get pregnant anyway. You hear how much you minimize that whole thing? How minimized it? You minimize it like, yo, listen, man. You know, I I like it raw. You know what I'm saying? The pussy was too good, and I slipped up. No, I didn't. I, what, I didn't what, slip. What, up. What'd you say? I didn't. Sl- I said my pullout game is strong, mm-hmm. and I never nutted in her. Mm-hmm. If we want to, if we want to go yeah. hardcore with the with the verbals or whatever, mm-hmm. I ain't nut in her. Mm-hmm. But she ended up pregnant anyway. Then you might want to see pot- who else she fucking. I, no, what yeah, I'm saying. Saying pre com got it. It's it's it's. Different variables, bro. Is that it what I'm ma- saying to you? I, okay, and what I'm saying so, to you, so, it okay. doesn't matter the variable. These decisions, as a young man, mm-hmm. I made before I started fucking, bro. I made those decisions. I said to myself, "Yo, if I had, if I fuck around and get a chick pregnant, I'm in it for life." And I said, "But okay, but I don't and, want and I- to." And I feel you. And, and I I'm, did I'm there everything too. within my capability not to, but I was prepared to deal with not the consequences, okay. but what came along with that. Okay. And I feel like, yo, at, before you participate in the game, you need to understand okay. and answer those questions for yourself. Okay. So let me go a little before bit Before you have to let make me, the, the life me, or death because you know let what? Let me go a little bit further into you the know situation what? when uh, I was in high school, right? Yeah. I was messing with a chick at the time. But I don't be judging school. nobody that, that have no abortion, so don't, don't, don't get me fucked up. I was messing with a chick at the time that had the high school, uh, when I was in high school, and mm. she was on birth control at the time that mm. I was messing with her. So both of us obviously knew the situation. Mm. Then we stopped messing with each other for a while, yeah. and she stopped taking the birth control. Then we started messing with her, and I assumed that she was still on the birth control. You know what I'm saying? And that's a, and, that's okay. Let's f- play and, with fundamentals and let's and, play with work, semantics. You assumed, true, but I'm I'm what I'm saying to you, Killer, is that it's not like it was like yo, we just went into the shit blindfolded and we didn't know that it was a possibility that she can get pregnant and this that and the third da 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 da. 
Dude, I want to say that 90% of the time that people, we're not having sex to, to, to procreate, bro. We're having sex because it's pleasurable. Like you just said, you love pussy. So we're fucking to, 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 to pleasure ourselves. You fucking to pleasure yourself, she fucking to pleasure herself. You know what I'm saying? We're not Yo, sitting here play, looking. If, if we're fucking not jerking sitting, off, I ran the risk of breaking my dick, I might consider it. I might consider not doing that shit. True. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. You have to understand what comes with the shit. If this comes with it, then you've had made a conscious decision to participate and proceed. Yes, but what I'm saying to you is don't minimize it. Don't 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 make it sound that simple, bro. It is you know why you know why it is that simple? Gerbils, fucking insects, they 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 reproduce. And they don't have the minds that it's, we have either. It's, 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 it's what I'm saying is they don't they don't have reprodu- the emotional attachment to the kids that but, we but have either. Bro. Maybe people so don't don't use them maybe, as an example. But maybe people are minimizing the simplicity it takes to reproduce. Yes, they are. So stop. It's not me minimizing. It's everybody else minimizing how easy it is to reproduce. Yes. People want to feel like it's an epic thing. No, it ain't. It ain't. <laughs> it ain't, bro. It's a. It, it was. It was. It was complex when God designed it. After that, it's a simple thing, bro. Insert your nut. It's there. <laughs> it ain't. It ain't an epic thing. You didn't fucking hit a, a, a monumental time in your life. Dude, so... I see people walking around like, damn, somebody made your ass? Like, nigga, it don't take nothing. <laughs> it don't take nothing. Dude. It don't. Dude. <laughs> what, man? You sound ignorant as fuck right now. Oh, uh, I do? Yeah. How, 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 explain it to me. Because you minimizing the shit, bro. No, I feel like people are minimizing how easy it is to make reproduce, man. Dude. That's what I'm trying. To, that's what that's dude. So, that's the minimization of society. Okay, so at the end of the day, you're saying that abortion shouldn't be an option. Period. But you're not gonna go ahead and make a law. Nah, or I'm not condemning anybody that criminalized. I'm not gonna or concern myself with what people, other people do. In, what other people to do. That, to that That's aspect. fine, but in your mind, still, it shouldn't be an option. Nah. Period. Period. Okay, so let me give you an. Let me let me let me give you a story that I saw recently today. Before I said, you know what? Let me. You know, we're gonna talk about this shit on the podcast. I watched the story. Chick, again, she got raped. Right, and I know you said that that was one of the pre- that's one of the extreme provisions. Mm-hmm. It is, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. But still, you're saying that in general it shouldn't be an option, right? Again, dude, I'm 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 holding you to it, bro. I'm not. I'm holding. No, no, do not put that. If you listen, if you listen to me, that's not what I said. So you don't even need to proceed, right? You don't need to proceed. I said two people that's having sex. Acknowledge consensually. It, consensually acknowledge what they're going in there for. So rape cannot be on. It, it cannot be in that concept. Okay, whatever, so what I've said. Okay, so your your stance is already a semi extreme stance. Semi. Mm-hmm. The law that's on table is an extreme stance, mm-hmm. right? So they're talking about even in molestation or and, and rape or whatever the case is. Yo, you can't have an abortion. From the con- from what I read, it said that you can. However, <laughs> like I said, it has to be in a certain time frame. It has to be within a ter- certain time frame, and you have to have reported the incidents. Okay, that's fine. And, but it's still, not, that's that's not those circumstances to put people in. That is it's not fair. I feel like yo, you should take people at their word. If they say they were raped and they don't want to have okay. a child, then cool. Okay, so I'm I'm like I said, I saw a story ahead, today, and I'm gonna give you the circumstance. This chick got raped by someone. Right? Yeah. And she didn't know she was pregnant until it was outside of that window that they gave her. Yeah. So in Georgia and in Ohio and in a couple of other states, it's six weeks, right? Mm. They give you six weeks to know if you're pregnant or not or whatever the case is and da 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 da. This chick that she found out she was pregnant at the at, at outside of that time frame and they told her 
yes, we understand your circumstance. We understand that you've been raped. We sorry, blah, 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 blah. But this is the law and this is how it works. So you can't terminate this pregnancy. She found out that she was pregnant. She found that the baby also had many different mental deformities. The baby was blind. Uh, this, that, and the third. Like everything that could be wrong with a child is was wrong with this child, right? And remind you, this chick was raped. So she had the baby. The baby was born with all kind of mental deficiencies. And she had to go back and forth throughout the hospital or whatever, whatever, enti- this entire time because... The law didn't allow her to terminate her pregnancy, even though she was raped. And again, I know this is an extreme circumstance, but at the end of the day, those are exceptions, not the rules. It is the exception and not the rule. But at the end of the day, dude, 25 men decided that this was the, the, the appropriate rule in Alabama and the female governor signed this shit into law. And that was all. It was all religion based, bro. It was all based on faith that, all right, uh, as soon as a child is, is is conceived, it's a human being. And just because the parents ain't shit, that don't mean that the child don't have the right to live. And I agree with that statement. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to shit on that statement. But again, everybody has their right to decide what they want to do with their bodies. And I was talking to somebody about it. Or I don't want to say I was talking to somebody. I commented on somebody's Facebook about it. They tried to relate the two to assault rifles and banning assault rifles and banning abortion and this, that, and the third, right? Yeah. To me, neither one of the two is related, right? Right. But, like, it, it it's a situation where, yo, everybody has the right to choose or whatever they want to do. I don't agree with it. I'm pro-life. I, I, I... I would like for everybody to get pregnant, to decide to have their child, and if they want to give it up to adoption, da, 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 I would like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that that's that's just me. But if you decide to have an abortion, I'm not going to hold it against you. I'm not going, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever, but like I said, man, it, it's, it's like people, when they talk about this shit, they're so hard-lined where it's just like it's either or. It's no in between. It's no. We, we can't be so hardlined on this shit. Well, you're bro. talking to me, bro. And talking to me, I'm just telling you, like, people need to be more, sport, more responsible for what they do. And, and I agree with that. Take. And that's. I. That message I would love to resonate throughout society. And I feel like. Yeah. Okay. I, like I said, I personally wouldn't pass any laws to hinder anybody from taking those actions but I would love to see people be more responsible in their actions okay so what I'm saying to you is that if you are more responsible in your actions and something still doesn't and something still happens then you wasn't all that you, responsible my nigga we call it an accident like it's a car accident like I took my eye off the road for a second and bang car fucking accident happened yeah and then lives are lost and cars are damaged my nigga <laughs> <laughs> You a savage, bro. You a savage. <laughs> I mean, I, hey, man, I'm not gonna say I keep on going around yeah. in circles or whatever. Um, like I said, man, I, I, I feel like it. It sucks. It sucks for these women. Um, I agree. Again, again, I don't agree with people using abortion as a form of birth control. I don't agree with that. But you know, certain certain situations happen. Um, it's people out there that you know they they. They have two, three, four kids already. Maybe they didn't get snipped or maybe she didn't, you know, get whatever you need to get to not have kids again. And they messed around and got pregnant, bro. And they don't necessarily want another child again. Um, Do I agree in late term abortions? We talking about like five, six months down the line? No, I don't. But okay, if it's a situation where, all right, this might have happened. Hey, I might be pregnant. (laughs) And you want to take a plan B pill? It's the same. It's the same shit, bro. I nigga three, but I decide I ain't trying to do this shit no more. You know what I'm saying? And and even take even to the kennel, man. Even I was talking to one of the homies this about this shit. Down. I was talking to one of the homies about this shit the other way, and, and and it's just to show you that men is affected by this shit too. Um, I was talking to one of the homies, and he was telling me that yo, he had a girlfriend at the time that she was pregnant, 
He heard heartbeat and everything. He and her was ready to have the kid, this, that, and the third. She was away in college, and then her her family got wind of it that, that the daughter was pregnant. And somehow, some way, they convinced the daughter to have an abortion. Oh, y'all not married, this, that, and the third, whatever, whatever, whatever. And they had a abortion, or they convinced or forced the daughter to have an abortion when she was like five, six months down the road, dude. That's fucked up, bro. Yeah. That's terrible, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's... That's like, yo, you taking a fucking baby out and holding that shit in the palm of your hands Not that and shit. throwing that shit in the trash can, Not bro. Not that shit. A baby. You holding a baby in the palm of your hands, a life, a life, and throwing it in the trash can, bro. A life that bro. you and I enjoy and a life that, you know, like I said, man, if it's not, we, we like I said, you say I'm ignorant for it, but I think through an aspect, people put, more into that like there goes a life and this and that 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 yes it is mm-hmm. and sex is what produces that okay it's not a hard task to accomplish anybody you know what i'm saying with functioning fucking genitals mm-hmm. can accomplish this thing so you know i mean like let's not make it that much bigger than it is man decide strap up or whatever you got to do so what I'm saying to you, like I said, you can't oversimplify it like that. It so is. let's just say, I can't. So let's just say, and let, I am. Let's just say you strap yeah, up. We don't even have to. Boo. Killer. I, 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 Killer. I've oversimplified it, Dub. Killer. That's Killer. where I'm at, and Killer. I'm not leaving that standpoint, Killer. bro. What you, I'm saying to you, you're not gonna make no, anything change you can't in my brain. O- you oversimplifying it, it too much. It is that simple, bro. It's it, not that simple, bro. It is, Dub. Tripping, man. Okay, um, let, me pack, let me pack my luggage, man. <laughs> Vacation time out this motherfucker. Man, you tripping hard, man. I, All right, man. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish we could have a woman here on the panel to talk about this who possibly has experienced this before, but unfortunately, I, that ain't shoot. the case. And not that that's going to change. Few. Not that it's going to change even know a few. your I, mind. Or I know women not, that I'm trying to change your no. mind or my I, mind. Bro, because uh, again, wait, wait, wait. Again, let me, let me say this. Again, mm. I think that we are we we both share the same. General standpoint, I am pro life, but I'm not anti abortion at the same time. Yeah, I, I know I know women who have had kids, yeah, who have kids that they're raising currently, mm-hmm. and speaking to them candidly have revealed that they fucking hated that decision decision of having the child, having the child, okay. don't even want the kid that they do have. Okay, they're just going through the motions of taking care of that child. Damn. Because that child is here. Okay. So I understand that there, there, there is regret and all that, those things that come in it. But that started at a point is what I'm saying. When you say started at a point, what you mean? Meaning, <laughs> yo, we're finna go in this room, we're finna do whatever. I would, if, if my partner is ignorant to it and don't say, yo, listen, man, I'm not with that, da 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 da, we can't do this. Mm-hmm. And if you if you trust that person, then it's on that's that's on you. If quote unquote accidents happen, that's on you. You gotta deal with that at that point. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's on you, man. <laughs> you wild boy. It's on you. <laughs> you wow, you can laugh and call me all that shit, nigga. You call me names, nigga. Call me whatever you want, nigga. I'm staying on that. Oh, standing shit. on that hill, baby. I feel you, fam. I'm on that hill. Hey, um, <laughs> yo, not that I expected this to go a certain way, dude, but this definitely went di- way different than I expected it to go. But it's all right, man. You know, it is. It is what it is, man. You know, listen to this, nigga. <laughs> it's what it is, man. You know, it's, it's, it's conversations, man. I can't, I can't expect you to see things the way I see, and you, I can't expect you to see things the way that. Yeah, I, I don't see. I don't, you know and I don't judge you beyond this. I don't either. All right, so let's let go, man. All right, <laughs> all right, fam. <laughs> you can't let shit go. Hey, you take, you take, you Talk take. to him about guns, y'all. Bring up guns. This nigga will argue to death. Nah, nah, I know, I know, I know, no second topic, topic that this nah. nigga are you to death about? Nah, I ain't arguing <laughs> death about nothing, bro. I'm good. Yeah. Um. 
You taking the squad to see Aladdin, bro? Nah. Nah, you fucking with it? Uh, nah, man. I, I I don't feel like they needed a live action of Aladdin. I never felt like, oh, shit, damn, I can't wait to see a a visual representation, a live action rep- representation of Aladdin. Mm-hmm. I feel like, just like uh, the Matrix um, that we discussed in the beginning of the episode, yeah. um, unless you're ready to um, take something like that to the next level completely, like if you're really going to introduce some visual effects and a, dev, a, a visual, re, visual representation of Aladdin that hasn't been seen before in cinema or anything like that, I say let it be what it is. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the original is, is strong enough. My kids have seen the original. They love it. And, you know, if you want to re- reproduce a, a, a 3D version of it or something like that, then I could rock with that. But to see a visual, like a, a live action, I don't, just watching the trailers alone, it doesn't do it for me. And my kids aren't like geared up or excited about it either. So you think it's just, it's, it's just a, another part of uh, Hollywood being unoriginal in right. their absolutely, absolutely. pursuits? Absolutely. It definitely was a money grab or attempt, attempt at a money grab. And it, it, like like I said, looking at the, the, the trailers, it doesn't seem like they, they pushed the envelope at all. So you don't think it's gonna be a dope movie at all? No, nah, I don't. Think it's gonna be whack? I feel so. I'm even. I, I hope I'm even. Wrong. Even with the story, the story. But the story is the story. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? The story is the story is represented in the animation. You can watch the, the animated um, movie and still get the same story. Got gotcha. you. You know what I mean? So I feel like they could have really released another animation or. Like a 3D animation of it. I didn't like right, I said, so it's one. The, this is one of Will the, Smith as the genie. It's just not. It's this not this it. is one of the movies where I'm going in expecting not to like it, and I'm hoping that they convince me otherwise. Mm. And um, I'm trying to think of what movie it was the last time that I went into it like that, where I was like, "Yo, I'm going into this." Um, uh, what it was the Spider Man? Uh, which one was it? The last Spider Man that universe, came out into the universe, into the Spider Verse. Yeah, that was that movie. I was going into it like, yo, all right, this is Spider Man. They're gonna try to make this dude black slash Hispanic. All right, I'm going expecting this shit gonna be whack, and y'all convinced me otherwise. They convinced me otherwise with Into the Spider Verse. Like I was just like, okay, this was maybe the dopest Spider Man movie of all of them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it, it, especially between the first couple of movies or whatever, whatever. So they convinced me otherwise and in Into the Spider Verse. I thought it was a real, real dope movie. They, they, they did what they needed to do. Yeah. And I'm going into Aladdin the same way, where it's just like, yo, I'll take the kids to go see it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm expecting you to convince me otherwise. Okay. And if you don't convince me otherwise, then all right, I spent my money and I lost my money. You know what I'm saying? But if you do. Convince me otherwise. Congratulations to you. I'll watch as a family when it comes out on DVD, or you know, I could just purchase it from my couch. Okay. So one quick five ninety nine will help us all. So if I lose my money, nah. If I, you know, and maybe just wait until I hear some feedback. If if the raves about it is, Got you. is up there, then you know I'm, I might just go ahead and do it then. Got but you. I'm just saying off rip. I'm not initially motivated to go check it out. All right, Game of Thrones ending. You fuck with it? I don't. Fu- I don't. And I'm and I'm prefacing <laughs> by saying I don't watch Game of Thrones, so nah. I have no clue what you're gonna be talking about if you talk about it right now. Yeah, nah. I fucking hated everything about how this final season um uh played out. I hated everything about the finale. I hated everything about this whole thing. Um, it's it's funny enough. Um, they they have a couple people on YouTube, a couple of YouTubers. Um, some people are writers themselves and they've written books and they've even went in and um, broken down episodes and inserted different ideas and I- different concepts um, to kind of rewrite the same visual that you saw. Mm-hmm. But, you know, what I'm saying they, they played with the time in and they play with some of the, you know, the emotions of what could have, you know, what I'm saying could have took place. And mm-hmm. like, it's hard to explain to you because you're not a fan and you haven't watched it, but. Uh, I've walked away from watching some of those YouTube videos like, you know what, I'm going to pretend like what you just said is what I saw because you did it dope. And I just feel like this last season was just an attempt to um, – the original writers of the show weren't involved in this um, 
last season right here. Got you. And um, that explains a lot. Yeah. So, so they, this, uh, from what I'm hearing, yeah. Outside of the third episode of this last season, everything else was just pretty much whack. Yeah, everything was pretty much whack. So they just really tried to sum up a lot of shit. A lot of shit. Because this is what, two years between the last season and this season? Right, right. Okay. And I I, 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 I give it to them. They did really go over the top with the visual effects. And they really went over the top with, you know, know, just the whole. Uh, backgrounds and everything like that. For those that's a fan of the Boondocks, this is kind of like a Boondock situation where y'all know what happened the first two seasons of Boondocks, and they came with the third season. They didn't involve Aaron Magruder or anything at all yeah. for the third season. It was just like, yo, it's it Boondocks, but it, it ain't it ain't fucking Boondocks, right? It's and that's somebody exactly else writing this shit. That's exactly what it was. It w- it went from uh, Game of Thrones, which was completely left field completely unorthodox completely unpredictable yeah that's what game of thrones was like whoever you fall in love with they weren't able to survive just because of uh uh plot armor like plot armor meaning like you know you watch a movie you know who the who's the protagonist and who's the antagonist and yeah this person's gonna live no matter what you know yeah. you never feel that sense of suspense because you know that they're gonna make it mm-hmm. well in Game of Thrones, it was in, in the beginning. It was never like that. It, mm. You fall in love with somebody, and next episode they get wiped off, and you're like, "Holy shit!" Mm. In this in, in this season, there was so much plot armor, people surviving shit that they ain't even supposed to be surviving, mm. and it was just like, "All right, this is not the feel that I'm accustomed to. This is not what drew me to Game of Thrones." So, so they lost the surprise aspect of they it. Lost the, of yeah, it. They lost, yeah, they lost that completely. Um, me as a fan, I would, I'll be forgiven if they said, "Look, we understand." Just like similar to what they did in Sonic, was like, "You guys are disappointed. Let's just forget that. Let's forget that ever happened. Mm. We'll redo this." Mm-hmm. I, as a fan, would be down for that. Yeah, like <laughs> let's forget that all that happened. Mm-hmm. We already made this, mm. and I feel like you know, like if they w- check out some of those YouTube channels and check out some of the the real fan um, commentary, and you know, s- it's just seeing some of these people that had like different plot ideas, man, some of them things out there are incredibly dope. Mm. And like, if I don't get another season, or if they don't make it, they, they're considered making a prequel. I'm not here for that, but whatever. But like, if they don't, I could watch those videos, and I'll be like, yo, listen. I'll take what y'all said and imagine that's what I saw. Gotcha. On film because you gotcha. know, what was not actually on film was trash. All right. So somebody posed a question um, on my Facebook recently and they said, has there ever been a season finale where everybody was satisfied? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, Breaking Bad. I was highly satisfied with Breaking Bad. I didn't see, I probably saw maybe the first two, mm-hmm. maybe three seasons of Breaking Bad, but I didn't see. Yeah. And I'm hearing, I'm not a fan. I'm definitely not a fan. I catch it when it's on TV. I'm not saying it's whack. I think it's funny. Mm-hmm. I like the show, but I'm not the one to to watch episode after episode and catch up. But I'm hearing that the Big Bang Theory had a, a really good uh, finale. Okay. I'm hearing supposedly Prison Break had one. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought personally that Boardwalk Empire, mm-hmm. the ending was that was the ending to that was satisfying. Yeah. Um, what's the other one? The Wire. The Wire was. The Wire was okay. Yeah. It, was it okay. wasn't. It wasn't a situation yeah. where it was like, yo, this is trash. Yeah. But it was okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm trying to think of other shows that I'm, that might have had a dope ending. Mm-hmm. We 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 still trying to see what's going on. I didn't um, like Martin's ending. Martin was. Yeah, yeah. Whack. I think Fresh Prince did all right. You know, he's standing in that empty room. Okay, okay. Yeah, Fresh what, was that the last episode? Yeah, when he was, they, they're moving out and shit. Yeah. They moved out of the house. Yeah. yeah. yeah he's standing up the room and kind of just looked around. Was like, I guess we're talking about like dramas, though. Like, I know, I know. Like, I'm just talking about series, though. I'm talking yeah, about yeah. series that ended um, in, in, a, in a satisfying fashion. I mean, Fresh Prince definitely was a good series. Okay. All together. Um, yeah. Um, What's the I new can't one? Remember. Uh, power. Uh, we looking to see how power ends. I, I feel like it's gonna to be end. whack. I feel like it's gonna be whack, and I feel like it needs to end now. Yeah, yeah. I feel um, like it's gonna be whack. Um, uh, blah 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 blah. I'm trying to think of a, any season. Like I said, Boardwalk, The Wire. Um, and yeah, we man. talking about series ending finales. Yeah. 
I think, like I said, Breaking Bad was definitely the the best and most satisfying um, um, series ending. I felt um, okay. I don't remember how the Oz ended. Uh, I remember how the Wire ended. Sopranos mm-hmm. definitely hated that. That wasn't good. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, there's so much of them that weren't good. Yeah, it's a, it's the, I guess the list is shorter of what was good. All right, mm. all right. That's what's up, man. Um, I guess we're gonna end this with. Uh, damn, did I have a, you got a what's the scenario this week? Nah, I don't have a what's the scenario. You got one. I felt like I had one, but I totally forgot the situation. Um, let me see if I can kind of sum it up or kind of freestyle it. And I don't want it to be about relationships every mm-hmm. single week, but okay, mm-hmm. what's the scenario? Let's just say uh, you in a relationship and that relationship is coming to an end. And um, there's kids involved in a relationship. Uh, and it, it just becomes bitter at the end of the shit. Mm-hmm. Bitter to the point where, and this is from a female's perspective because, I'm, you know what I'm saying, I, I, I talk to people and, you know, some people confide in me and they tell me certain situations or whatever, whatever. And I bring it up on the podcast. <laughs> Put your business out there. <laughs> right? That's just great, though. Just don't say no names. You know mm. what I'm saying? So this situation, um, a young woman going through a divorce, right? And during the divorce, she cheated on the husband. Mm-hmm. She cheated on him, tried to make the situation right. And for the last couple of years, the situation just ain't been right. So I guess one of the situations would be if, and 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 me being a man, let me let me answer this first. If my wife cheated on me, bro, as a man, having an ego that a man has, I couldn't deal with it, bro. Like I couldn't see myself just forgiving you. And just moving on with the whole relationship, knowing that yeah. uh, you cheated on me with another dude. And I guess the reason being, my mind, it's an emotional situation. It's not just like dudes where it's just like, yo, nigga, all right, man, I just want to fuck something. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the wife ain't sucking dick like the side chick sucking dick. Or whatever the case is. I think it's different between males and and, and females. Damn, bro! Oh, double standard ass face it, having I, ass I nigga. just I, and, until somebody convinces me otherwise, I just think that that's the case. I think I it's a think, different. I don't think mentality. there's no convincing you, bro. Go ahead. Bro. It, it, it might be. I'm just saying. I nah. think that there's a different standard between males and females when it comes to cheating or whatever. I think that a lot of the times females they they. More than often, more often than not, they're gonna cheat because of emotional reasons rather than hey, is that what I they tell you? Some dick. Is that what they tell you? Is it's that not a that sentiment that uh, females tell you. Did you? Have you ever sought out uh, uh, sent the to ask a female as to why they cheat or spoken to a female that cheats and say, hey, listen, why, why do you choose to do this? Yes, mm-hmm. and it was emotional. Okay. All right. All right, well, that might have been one person. Is that... No, it was, it, was, it was different ones. Okay, different ones. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I right, finished the scenario. So the situation is she cheated on dude. Dude just can't get over it, but he's trying to stay in the situation because, hey, this is my wife. We got two kids involved, whatever, whatever. And he's trying to stick it out, but his male ego just won't let him stick that shit out. He keep on bringing it up. You know what I'm saying? in different capacities and it's just not fucking working out like you know what i'm saying it, it either either you strong enough to say fuck it forgive and forget or you're not and i'm i'm the latter i'm i, I don't think that i am i don't think that i am i don't think that i'm strong enough to just say all right yeah you cheated on me you know what i'm saying you let another nigga slide his whole dick up in you and I'm just supposed to just forgive and forget that shit. I don't. I don't think that's in line with the, uh, what you've told me in the past. I feel like you. I feel like you've uh, said things to the aspect of, if I decide to say I'm gonna do it or go through with it, then so be it. I have to go through with it. 
Yes. And and like I said, I'm thinking about it. Mm-hmm. I don't think that I would be able to go through with it, bro. Okay. So, all right. Yeah, if the scenario is that, then per- me personally, I'll say I would not be able to go through with it. I would not be able to go forward with it. Okay, hold However, on. However, so, uh, if I decide to, yeah, I feel like it, you have it, to. I have to. Yeah. So, yeah, homeboy, if he decided to, then he has to. If he can't, then I think homegirl or one of the, somebody need to remove themselves from that situation because it's becoming toxic and you got kids involved in it. And, and it's best to just go ahead and let it go. And that's what she's deciding to do. She's deciding to move her, remove herself from the situation, mm-hmm. but it's not necessarily because he keeps on bringing it up or whatever, whatever. She just says that she just she's not in love with the dude no more. Like she just don't. It's 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 not a situation that she want to be in and. It's a lot of it's a lot of complicated little intricacies or whatever in the situation from what I'm what I'm hearing. Oh yeah, that's what relationships are, right? Bunch Definitely. of complicated intricacies. <laughs> yeah, but still. Yeah. She knows she fucked up. She trying to minimize how much she fucked up. And as a dude, I try to tell her like, "Listen, you know what I'm saying? What is there any redemption from cheating though?" I it, think is it isn't participating not, in cheating a level of listen I know what I'm doing if I get caught I have to deal with the consequences of yes, such yes 1000% mm. but I think that and and again this might be wrong but is there any should you as a person continue to try to redeem yourself from that action cuz that is you that is you that is a part of who you are that's a decision that you made I wouldn't consciously. say I, I would I would rephrase that I said are you willing to receive your, re- redeem yourself from that action and when I say willing to I'm talking about anything and everything that comes along with that okay so let's I just like say you because get, willing to would mean I, I'm willing to do it for the person that I'm with exactly however I I am no I'm I'm not trying to you know what I'm saying sell somebody on on making them believe that I am somebody I'm not exactly so so yeah. if you if you're if you're saying that you changed mm. and you're willing to change or whatever you have to deal with any and everything that comes along with that situation if you love that person enough mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying so dude it sucks man it sucks I, I've been cheated on before mm-hmm. and dude I never I never overcame that shit and I never Stay with that person afterwards. I was just like, yo, I, I, I personally can't overcome this shit. Like, yo, again, maybe I'm wrong, but I look at it as different when it comes to men and women. Yes, there are some women that's out there that's just like, yo, man, I could fuck another dude, and they could, they could, they could love the dude that they're with and be fucking somebody else, and that'd be completely fine. But I don't think that there's many women that's out there that's able to hold that mentality where they're they are in love with somebody else and they just fucking somebody else just because the sex is good I, or, I, I, I would have to speak to more women and find out what their perspective is on and to our female listeners out there I, I really would like you guys to go ahead and comment yeah and just let us know you know um i'm, I'm maybe you you're not a cheater or whatever but maybe you've um process the concept and you, you could give us some insight on as to how you think because I wouldn't want to assume how they feel in that scenario I, mm-hmm. I I would venture to feel like they would have the same emotions that we have whether it be lust or whether it be like I'm just detached I'm not attached to the person that I'm currently with and um, I want to explore my options I don't know mm. I don't know what it is in cheating but I, I know for somebody to cheat None of those things are positive. So if I'm in a relationship with somebody that did that, then I would have to say none of that is to my benefit, and I would have to remove myself from the situation. I can't forgive because you were were attracted to somebody else or you were no longer in love with me. Either one is a fuck. Is that is that is that a male experience though? Is that a male experience? Because, I, I, because I, I would say yes, but let me I, I, don't judge me for my for my perspective. But I would say it's because in most I, I I hate to say these things like 
like I, like I did surveys and shit, but I, yeah, I didn't. yeah, but I feel like in most relationships, um, or even f- women have sought out men to be a provider and be all these things. Da, gotcha, da, 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 gotcha. Da. And I feel like women place more value on being in relationships, right? Mm-hmm. So, um, if a man cheats, I think a woman would be more accepting because look, I still want my family structure. Mm. I still want that provider. True. And the, these things where, you know, uh, a man might be thinking more so from a lust standpoint or look, whatever this is, it is, I'm out, whatever. I, I, I you know what I'm saying? Like, so I, I feel like a woman would be more likely to forgive due to those circumstances. Is what I'm saying But however To flip the role If a woman cheats Then As a man Am I really dependent on her To For my survival As far as Get my bills paid Or You know Just Survival in general You know Mm. what I'm saying Do I need this person Mm. You know what I'm saying So Like you said It might be a little It might be a little bit Minimizing Because That's not That's not And not saying that You're saying that Every scenario Is that scenario Right right You know what I'm saying Yeah I know that's exactly That's not what you're saying Yeah But Yeah We we can only think of this From from a male aspect And We got female listeners Hopefully y'all Got this far And we want to hear Y'all input Input on it yeah. Like I said, me personally, as a male, it depends. Like, yeah, like uh, you know, what I mean, uh, I, I would, I would try to make it work or whatever. But I don't know if mentally, I could make it work or not, knowing for sure that my woman is cheating on me with some other dude. Because again, I'm providing financially. I'm doing X, Y, and Z, whatever, whatever. I'm taking care of my kids, this, that, and the third. So like. I don't see any other reason other than emotionally for you to cheat on me rather than uh, being, oh, he's not a provider or he not what he not doing what he's supposed to be doing as a, as a, as a husband or as a boyfriend, whatever the case is, whatever causes people to cheat in the situation. I just wouldn't understand that as a male. If, Hey, yo, shit. I might even take that as a male. If, a female say, "Yo, listen, man, you not cutting it, da 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 da. da. You not providing, da da, yeah. da da. I was out there looking for other options. Now, if I say, look, baby, I'm willing, I, I, I can, I'm willing to contribute. I, I'll do more. I, I'll push myself harder. If I'm willing to do that, then I might say, look, all right, I could forgive you for that. Okay, okay. I came up, I, I came up short for you. Yeah, like I wasn't all that for you." Yeah. So I might be willing. I might be willing to say, "You look, I could forgive you for that." If, but if you're saying like, "Look, man, I just don't love you no more." Like, that's different. Or if you just fucking got some dick because you was just like that nigga in the office is just that nigga, then you go go keep go keep finding them niggas. What's the what's the what's the scenario? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> for real, for real. So, hey Oh uh, shit! So um, I've been sitting here contemplating back and forth or whatever. I I I, I don't know if I wanted to uh, play this song. I know my boy Killer just kind of encouraging me to share some music and shit yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 definitely, um, thousand percent, man. I had this song, like I said, I spoke about it earlier in the whole abortion shit. Had this song called "The Waiting Room," man. So um, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and play that for y'all right now, man. This is your boy P Double. It's the waiting room. Y'all could download this shit for free. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this shit, man. Listen to it. Soon as I stepped in, the sadness took over me I'm asking God why and wondering if he noticed me Sitting in the corner, head in my lap Thinking about decisions I made and can I take them back? 
like it's too late for that Homie, I fucked up this bra playing with a kid I'm wishing that she shut up This ain't a happy place Death surrounds us, the waiting room is so unforgiving It's where I wound up After a night of pleasure, I'm causing so much pain And if I had it to do over, I would again And I would change the outcome And some details can't even look into the eyes of this female I'm thinking to myself, why we gotta do this? I know we got choices in life, but this is foolish this ain't the only route, but maybe it's the easiest I'm hoping that she change her mind because we can't rewind the time In the waiting room In the waiting room I hate this waiting room Damn, I hate this waiting room I'm seeing women emerge after the deed is done Looking like they never seen the sun And how beautiful it is to give life Face problems head on and try to live right But what am I saying? I'm in the same boat doing wrong About to hang myself from the same rope It ain't the same though I'm trying to make excuses It ain't no justifying the shit that we be doing Now it's our turn, I can't look her in the eyes Cause I don't want her to do it I'm steady asking why But with no response, the show it must go on I put my head down and then she was gone As I look up, damn, I'm so shook up And people looking at me crazy like Fuck, it's so hard to explain the pain that I was feeling The sorrow rained down on me like there was no ceilings In the waiting room I hate this way it roll. Damn, I hate this way it roll. I'm in the waiting room, tears rolling down my cheeks, thoughts going through my head, feeling like I can't breathe. Thinking to myself, when she done, we done. People walking by, I'm so mad I can't see them. Then she came out, but there was something different She wasn't looking like the others, there was nothing missing She had life in her eyes, she wasn't zombie looking And the oven was still something that's still cooking She chose life over death and let the baby breathe I guess my prayers was answered and that's what I believe Everyone deserves a chance, I know I got mine And life is long as hell, so we got time This is how it should be, not how it could be I'm glad I'm not sitting and thinking of how it would be If we had chosen some other way but the right one, but we chose life and plan to have a nice one outside the waiting room. Outside the waiting room. Bye to the waiting room. I'm never coming back to the waiting room. All right, that was waiting room by P Dub. What 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 um compilation is that on? What uh, uh, that is on the EP, the project called the EP. Um, again, y'all can check it out. P double dot bandcamp dot com. P e e d u b l e dot bandcamp dot com. If y'all want to download the project for the free ski whiskey, go ahead and do that, man. If y'all want to. Shoot your boy a couple of dollars for uh, downloading the whole album and maybe the whole discography. Y'all could do that, man. It's, it's your choice. It yeah, is what man, it is. Definitely man. show some love, people. Yeah. Show some love. And you know what I mean? Shout out to my start to finishers out there. Definitely. You know what I mean? Putting up the hashtag. Um, uh, but, yo, I also like to um, challenge y'all to go ahead and um, just get, leave your comments on the song, man. Let us know how you felt about the song. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. From my boy P Dub. I think he put a lot of. Um, Put a lot of hard work in I think he's a dope rapper Somebody that's been doing it for a long time And he's doing it for real And his, his music has always been heartfelt to me You know what I mean So you know what I mean Just show my boy the love man Y'all know he's capable sure. You know what I'm saying for sure. He ain't gonna ask for it But I'm gonna ask for it for him So for sure Yeah And um, yeah man Tell my start to finish this man Hey go ahead and share this shit with somebody man Grab their phone one day And just say Hey I'm gonna subscribe you to this podcast Yeah Just grab it they yeah. say, hey, let me borrow your phone real quick. I'm going to log you on to Google Play 
or I'm gonna log you on to Apple Podcasts, or I'm gonna log you on to fucking SoundCloud or YouTube, and I'm gonna subscribe you to this podcast. Check it out. Just grab their phone from them one day and do that shit. Yeah, we appreciate that shit, bro. Yeah, for sure, for sure, man. All right, bootleg man. Able Podcast. If you can't spell that, something wrong with your ass. And yes, yeah, bootleg. Ain't nothing fake about it. And you know when we said all that is done.